You in the rocket with the hottest boxing podcast in the land. True Media Boxing Radio with your host, Coach Malachi Williams. True, true, true. Yeah, 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 man. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's our boy, Coach Malachi Williams in the building. We back. Let me make sure that you guys can hear me. Turn this up a little bit. Just want to make sure you guys can hear me before I get to get the cooking. We back. All right, all right, all right. I think, I think you guys can hear me. I think y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Hold on. All right, everybody. Okay, Pauline gave me a thumbs up. I want to make sure. I'm just trying to see some. Okay, uh, big stalk say loud and clear, bro. Hey, we, hey, boy, I ain't gonna sit here and lie to you, boy. Y'all already know, boy. We throwing fastballs over here. True, true, true. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a good one today. I can promise you that. This is gonna be a good one today. Also, I, I also Bill Haney did say he was gonna pull up. Say he was gonna pull up. So, just in case, just in case he does pull up, I will send him a link. Hold on. Just in case Bill Haney does pull up, or do pull up, rather, uh, I'm going to send him a link. Hold on. Let me do that right now, ASAP. Just in case. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I meant to do this earlier. Y'all, Hey, you already know. Hey, you already know what time it is with me. The stickiest of the icky. You want to smoke with the old boy, Rick James? You feel me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do this here. Bam. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, man, y'all know what time it is, man. Let me give a shout out to the few people that's here. Then we're going to get into the show, man, because I got, I got a lot of questions to ask Bill. Uh, shout out to Stephen X. Uh, what's going on, fam? L Harvey, G5, salute, brother. Shout out to Daniel Agnew, Jamie from New York, salute. Um, Pauline is in the building. Metal Hendrix. Who else we have? Um, L Harvey is in the building. Tommy Gunn. Guillermo, what's going on, fam? Miguel Gomez. Uh, uh. Okay, uh, hey, shout out, shout out to Al Aguilar, salute to you, fam. Miss Connie Stevens, salute. Uh, shout out to Big Stalks in the building, Fabe Montre. It is what it is, man. We going we we finna we finna get into the show, man. We definitely finna get into the show now. <laughs> shout out to Missy Mike, man. Uh, Odie Low, Odie Low, what's going on, fam? Man, y'all please subscribe to uh, Odie Low TV, man. Shout out to Odie Low, man. Two-Tone, the superstar. I had to make Two-Tone a, a moderator because a whole lot of people, so a whole lot of people be hate, hate, hate Two-Tone. Tone be pissing me off too, but, that, but that's my nigga. I fuss with him. Tone don't give a damn who it is. He pissing everybody off. <laughs> true, <laughs> Tone true, piss everybody off. true. Yeah, man, he talented than a motherfucker though. Um, salute to everybody in the chat, man. Shout out to everybody in the chat. We finna get into the show. Oh, we finna get into the show. Hold on, hold on, make sure. Hold on, let me, let me send Bill a... Do I want to send him the link right now? I don't know if I want to send him the link right now. Cause I gotta read the opening. I you know I gotta read my opening monologue. Let me read my opening monologue and then we're gonna get right into it. Y'all hit the like button for the old boy. Share this show. Let everybody know that we on. As a matter of fact, we have over hundred people in the chat. So let's give everybody a round of applause. Uh shout out to Yaka Flash, uh, uh Mel Hendrick Steel, the Prince is in the building. What's going on, fam? It is what it is. Shout out to uh, Sosa. Sosa, what's going on? It is what it is. Now, now, let, let, let's get into the show. Let's get into the show because I don't want to begin everybody to shout out. 
Ryan Garcia releases footage. This is what everybody been talking about. I, I I dropped this live. I dropped this earlier this morning, probably about eight thirty. And we, you know, eight thirty that this was going. This I, I already knew. I already knew. I say, man, this this shit here going. Yeah, it, it, you know, everybody gonna be talking about this. I already know, man. So you know, it, it is what it is. Um, Ryan Garcia releases the footage that he said he had of Tate Davis punishing uh, Devin Haney. Footage, right? Uh, and this, and I think this happened. Uh, We'll get into when it happened. We'll get. I'm, I'm gonna get some confirmation. Or we'll get. Into, I know when it happened, but we'll get into it. Let me read the open monologue. Ever since Floyd Money, uh, ever since Floyd Money Mayweather gave Ryan Garcia the sparring footage of Tank Davis kicking Devin Haney's ass in sparring. Now this is edited. This is highlighted. This is just highlights. So you got Tank Davis fans are uh, looking at this footage and they're saying that this is proof that Devin Haney, um, as a matter of fact. Uh, 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 that Tank Davis destroyed Devin Haney. No, it's not. It's an edited. They showing highlights of Tank. But I do get it. I get it. I understand. I understand. I know. I told you guys. There's a civil war going on. As a matter of fact, let me let me get my camera straight. There's a civil war. Look like my camera kind of cricket going on with Devin Haney fans and Tank Davis fans. Hold on. Straight my camera up. All right. I think that's it. I think that's it right there. All right. Cool. I think that's it right there. And then hold on, let me let me pull, let me pull it up a little bit. Part, 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 part of my head is cut off. Hold on. Let me pull it up a little bit. I think about right there. That, that I mean that should be Gucci. Y'all know, man. I'm a stickler. I'm a stickler for you know camera adjustments and angles and all that stuff there. So y'all gotta forgive me, man. That's my OCD kicking in. My OCD kicking in. Now, ever since Floyd Mayweather, let me bring the mic. Let me bring the mic closer, closer. Ever since Floyd Mayweather gave Ryan Garcia the sparring footage of Tank Davis um, kicking Devin Haney's ass in sparring, boxing fans seem to be all over the place with what they saw from the footage. Um, it appears that Bill Haney has pissed off Floyd and uh, Ryan Garcia, and, um, and it seemed like that Floyd has had enough. Look like he pissed off Floyd Mayweather, some things. Like, cause Floyd never, re ne Floyd never, never leaks uh, sparring footage. Now, of course, Florida's is going to say, hey, man, I didn't do anything. But just all of a sudden, it comes out of nowhere. But that's okay. That's neither here nor there. Me, personally, I ain't too emotionally invested in sparring. You know, when is y'all, when do you need, is you need to go fight? Oh, y'all ain't going to fight? Okay, cool. True, true, true. But it does appear that Bill Haney has pissed off Floyd, and Florida's had enough. Ryan Garcia has finally released the um, um, uh, edited version of the sparring footage uh, to the public, and I be damned. I be damned. It doesn't look good for Team Haney, as if depending on what side of the fence you're on. If you are a dog hard Tank Davis fan, you've seen everything you needed to see. Man, if dog on Tank and Devin get in the fight and Tank and, and Tank hit and Dev with some of those shots he was hitting to win the sparring, it'd be over. True, true, true. So it just depends on what side of the spectrum you're on. If you are a Devin Haney fan, you would say, hey, man, he got hit with all those shots and he didn't go down. So, you know, uh, Devin can take a punch. You know, all the stuff we heard, and, you know, about uh, Spar, you know, um, um, this confirms a lot of stuff about Devin's toughness and grit. And also they only show a part of it. They didn't show this, the sparring in its entirety. So if there's going to be confirmation bias on both sides. And they already have their minds made up, depending on how you feel about either fighter. True, true, true. You know what I mean? Um, for years, we have been hearing about the infamous glorified sparring session between Tank Davis and Devin Haney. In this edited video, and I repeat, this is an edited video, you can clearly see Tank Davis is having his way with Devin Haney. Beating him for pillar to post. In this edited video. Keyword edited. Confirmation bias, you will ignore that. Understandably so. I'm pretty sure there are some highlights of Devin Haney getting off on tank. But guess what? If you're a Tank Davis fan, you ain't gonna want to hear that. True, true, true. So I get it. And I don't have any emotional investment in Devin Haney or Tank Haney. I don't. I ain't got a to Devin Haney or Tank Davis. I ain't got emotional investment in either one of them. But both when them niggas get paid, Coach Malachi don't receive a dime. Just just I just want to throw that out there. Um, not shown in this entirety. This, this, this particular video is not shown in this entirety. Adrian Broner told the story about what happened years ago and even recently as of late. And it appears that in this video, Adrian Broner did tell the truth 
about one part. In the video, you can clearly see AB jumping in the ring, stopping Tank from punishing Devin Haney even more. True, true, true. And then they cut it, and then they cut it, went to something else. It didn't show when, when AB jumped in the ring, it didn't show what happened right after he jumped in the ring and broke it up, and who jumped in the ring, and it didn't show none of that. It just showed that one part, and it cut and went to another Tank highlight, right? Those are the facts. The only problem is this. We don't have the entire footage of the sparring match. Ryan Garcia and Floyd Mayweather seems to have released this edited sparring session out of spite. And understandably so. Why do I say understandably so? Um, Bill Haney has been talking. You know, he's been talking that talk um, pretty much for Dev. And he is also the president of DHP Promotions. Bill always brag and say, hey, man, I work for my son. He always say that, right? And um, he's been rubbing a lot of people the wrong way. Right. That's Bill Haney. He loves to ruffle the feathers. Bill likes to uh, likes to shake the tea leaves. He likes to shake up the hornet's nest and sit back and marvel at the reaction. True, true, true. Millionaire shit. Something that I can't relate to because I'm not a millionaire. Multi-millionaire shit, right? Millionaires have a million dollar, millionaires have a millionaire problems and issues and, and have a millionaire banter, right? While the poor people who watch it are, to, uh, are, 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 putting, are putting a bubble to choose sides. You broke ain't got no money on the right. He broke ain't got no money on the left. And we two new ties with which millionaire is, is what and who. And neither one of them niggas will piss on us if we was on fire. True, true, true. That's the reality of the situation. In my eyes, anyways. Um, and Bill Haney, he's been rubbing a lot of people the wrong way. People like Coach Kenny. Tank Davis and Calvin Ford have been saying for years how Tank punished the, from what I'm hearing, 16-year-old Devin Haney at the time. And I think Tank is, what, four years older than Devin Haney? I think he's four years older than Devin Haney. So that would have made him 20 years old. But we'll get the confirmation when Bill comes on the show. Um, Devin Haney appears to have provoked, not Devin Haney, sorry about that. Bill Haney appears to have provoked Devin Haney's former mentor. Floyd Money Mayweather a little too much. You know, I know, I know that Devin Haney was a, Floyd is a mentor of Devin Haney. I don't know if he still is. I don't know. But it seems that he has provoked dog going on Floyd Mayweather just a little bit too much. Keeping Floyd's name in his mouth. Bill has been dropping videos, you know, saying a little slick stuff about Floyd and this and that. And yada, 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 yada. And I think Floyd say, um, like I said before, Ryan, get him. True, true, true. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that, that was a smart marketing tactic by Ryan Garcia. Like he's, I take my hat out to him, the boys are genius when it comes to marketing. Him and the Haney's, him and Bill Haney. Uh, so basically, you know, you know, keeping Floyd's name in his mouth, telling Floyd to release the sparring footage between Deb and Tank. Now, Bill has been saying that, well, release the footage then, release the footage. They released the footage, but they didn't release it the way he probably hoped that they would. True, true, true. Now, the only problem is they did release partially of the footage, but it was the edited version of the sparring video. Now, of course, Malachi don't give a damn about the sparring. I really don't. It happened a long time ago from what I'm hearing. And what does that have to do with the price of tea in China in today's market? Nothing. You get what I'm saying? So um, I'm pretty sure that Bill would go on the offensive. And he has. I hear he's been going. He's going on the offensive right now. Bill Haney knows nothing but offense. You get what I'm saying? And he's a pretty good defensive player. You got to you gotta get in contact with, you know, he's just, he just going to make it do what he do. You get what I'm saying? And uh, and because uh, Bill also said that, you know, not only that he won the money in the sparring match, but he made uh, Tank Davis quit. And no one refuted that. As a matter of fact, uh, Adrian Bona did confirm that. He was like, yeah, man, you know, uh, Tank ended up, you know, uh, he wasn't in shape. He wasn't in shape, but he had them cracked them early in the fight, but he wasn't in shape. So he, he admitted that, that, that Bill Haney no one won the money. And I, from what I'm hearing about doghouse rules, you know, um, the person who wins is the one who, if you quit, and doghouse rules, I hear there's no round, something of that sort. I don't, I don't know. I'll probably have Bill, when, if he comes to call the show or, or come on, he'll, he'll be able to explain it a lot more, right? Um, now, uh, Bill will more than likely, you know, as I said before, you know, he's going to go on, the, go, go on the offensive on this, and he's going to get with a lot of his brothers that he's made packs with on social media and get the message out. So I do understand that I get it, you know what I mean? Um, so I do completely understand Bill Haney's position. You have to control the narrative, and you have to win the information war. There's an informa information war going on in boxing right now with certain fighters, 
you know, certain fighters from Mexico, certain fighters from Phoenix, Arizona, certain fighters from um from um uh, from San Francisco, certain fighters from California, certain fighters from Baltimore, certain fighters from just different places, right? There's an information war going on. You know what I mean? So it is what it is as related to that. And um from what from what I'm seeing on this is it's really much to do with nothing, to be fair. Um, it's something to talk about. Everyone is talking about it. You know, the sparring match, this and that, yada, 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 yada. Glorified sparring match. Uh, my thing is, is this going to lead to Tank and Ryan, Tank and, uh, and Debbie getting in the ring? More than likely, no. True, true, true. I had somebody hit me up. As a matter of fact, um, um, I, had, I had somebody, was, I think it was a K, I think KQKC, yeah. He hit me up and he was talking about um, how Coach Kenny was on his podcast and he let it be known that Devin Haney and Tank will, won't be fighting each other. Now we're anytime soon because Tank is a 135 pounder and Devin is a 140 pounder. So as far as I'm concerned, that shit is out the door, right? But as you guys know, on social media, perception is everything. And Floyd Mayweather, Tank Davis, and Ryan Garcia have fired what appears to be a subliminal death blow, so to speak, to the reputation of the Haney's. Because I think that's what this is all about, you know? Um, I don't know if Tank had anything to do with this, but, you know, I'm pretty sure Floyd did. No one can tell me Floyd didn't have nothing to do with it because from what I'm hearing, he is the one that had the sparring footage. True, true, true. Hopefully, one day we will see Javante Davis, Javante Tank Davis, and Devin Haney get in the ring together when it counts. Instead of watching edited versions of videos of, 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 of old sparring matches. Let's give everybody a round of applause and let's get into the show. Uh, shout out to James Bash. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a bam dub on your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super Jack received. Playtime's over, boy. boy. What do you say, fam? He say, peace, coach. Getting them ties, some those ties in early. Yes, sir, man. I appreciate you, fam. It is what it is. Um, this boy, I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. This is gonna be one of my best shows today. Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People pimping, pimping. So I want to do a disclaimer. You have two sides. You got Team Devin Haney and you have Team Tank Davis. Coach Malachi is not on either team. I'm not on Team Haney's team. I don't give a fuck about being on their team. And I'm not on Tank Davis' team. I don't give a fuck about being on their team. I'm just calling it the way I see it. Because, again, if I'm on the team, you know, I mean, again, I don't get paid from neither side. Coach ain't making no money from neither side. So I give a fuck about being on the on being on the goddamn team. True, true, true. That's when ain't no goddamn money involved. You can believe that shit there. Anyways, anyways, let's get ready to get into the show. Shout out to Schoolo X Man. Schoolo, what's going on, baby boy? Schoolo was in the building. Schoolo was in the building. Uh, Tommy Gunn said when Haney got rocked, I was like, ooh, he needs some milk. Okay, okay. So y'all all over the place. Shout out to Pauline. Country's in the building. Uh, uh let's see. I got some good questions today, boy. I got some good ones. I got some good ones. Um, that press conference also was something else. Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia, this is very technical by Ryan Garcia. You know what I mean? This is very technical by Ryan Garcia. And then, you know, I think Bill was egging it on. Well, release the footage. Release the footage then. We won the money. We made him quit. And what they did was so smart. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't see this coming. The over Ryan Garcia came with an overhand right. He came with an overhand right. You get what I'm saying? Now the Haynes are on the defensive. Yeah, they're on the defensive right now. He came with an overhand right. And then we got to hear this, you know, it, you know, then the press conference yesterday with all the shit that went on. We're talking about hair. And I told you guys yesterday on the show, as soon as I, because I didn't hear what, um, I didn't hear what Bill Haney said about uh, Ryan Garcia's dad's toupee, and then his clap back was uh, Devin, uh, Bill Haney's nappy hair and stuff like nappy headed coach or whatever. And apparently that was supposed to be some kind of racial shit, which to me it wasn't. You know, it was good for the ganders, good for the goose, but I leave that to the Shea Butters. We know what them niggas are going to do anyways. And I told you, they're going to start making videos talking about this here. Dante, right on cue. Aki, right on cue. All of the alphabet boy community right on cue. Like we pretty much knew what it was going to be. I told you, I gave you guys, uh, I gave you guys uh, uh, tomorrow's news yesterday. I told you guys what it was going to be. 
literally like these niggas is so predictable true true so predictable true. so predictable anyways 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 um before we get into the show we got to say all praises due to the most high the most exalted the greatest human being on the planet earth my my and my brother your brother mr al Heyman. well you know i guess i gotta be like everybody else and saying al Heyman. <laughs> i can quit my job now baby six figures baby you feel me I'm about to but, but a name a name do you have a name oh no nah, no nah, i ain't got no name you know Name them names, man. <laughs> they know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. The <laughs> names need to be named. They know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. If you sit here watching the show, hate watching, don't want to hit the like button, Riley, cuss their ass out. Look, fuck you. Fuck the plane you flew in on. Fuck them shoes. Fuck the socks with the bell on it. Fuck them cheap ass cigars. Fuck your yuck mouth teeth. Fuck your hair piece. Fuck your chocolate. Fuck Guy Ritchie. Fuck Prince William. Fuck the Queen. This is America. My president is black and my Lambo is blue, nigga. Now get the fuck out my hotel room. And if I see you in the street, I'm slapping the shit out of you. You know it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. Hey, look here, man. Uh, doggone uh, Devin Haney came out there looking like a loped out Compton City G. True, true, <laughs> true. <laughs> Looking like a loped out Compton City G. Shout out to Jackie Hernandez. Shout out to Miss Parker. SP got beats. Who else is here? Next Gen Comeback Sports. I knew Keenan was gonna be here. I knew that boy Ryan Garcia. Knew that. I knew. I knew my main man Keenan was gonna be here. Ah, uh, Harvey in the building. Passion for beauty. Drumming for life. Rod. Ah. Uh, your boy Mumbo, MK Productions. He say he say for what though, Coach? Why he keep doing that? I don't know. Shout out to my main man, Ron Boy Fresh. Ron Boy Fresh, salute to you, fam. It is what it is. If we got over 200 likes, I'm gonna get ready to drop these phone lines. Let me, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and send this. Let me send this link to Bill Haney though. So, so whenever he decides he wanna come on, that's if and that's if he come on. I'm not sure if he'll go come on or not, to be honest with you. So he said he's gonna be here, man. One thing about Bill. And Bill, Bill does keep his word. I, I, I will say that. That brother do keep his word. So, uh, hold on, guys. Let me, let me do this. Let me do this. Hold on. Y'all bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. Here you go. Here is the link. We'll see what's up. There we go right there. There we go right there. All right, man. Y'all know what time the T.I. is, man. It is what it is. When it comes to this boxing-ish, we run anything. Yep, that's right. I'm running things. I'm running things. Cream corn. That's why they call me that. Smooth. I got more measure for your pleasure. Stick with me, baby. I'll have you farting through silk. <laughs> and let a nigga mess with me. I'll jump on him. All 93 pounds of pure dynamite. You know that 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 press conference was very very interesting. Um, Devin Haney, not Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia seems like he's kind of like out of it a little bit. Um, shout out to uh, Tyrone for becoming a member, man. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> he seemed like he's kind of out of it a little bit. I don't know. The fuck? You know it is what it is. That's wrong, is it? <laughs> That's wrong. He did nothing to you. He seemed like he kind of out of it. You get what I'm saying? Fatality. So, um, I don't know what to make of it. People are saying that he going to pull out. People are saying he on Coke. He on Molly's. Pop the Molly on Sweat. Woo! Some say he's on that. I, I don't, again, I don't know. We're going to find out. We gonna, I got a lot of questions. We're going to see. Is there drug testing for this fight? You know, is there any kind of penalty if Ryan Garcia were to pull out or whatever? You know, um, it is what it is. I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. So it is what it is, man. So we gonna we gonna see what's up. But I'm gonna drop these phone lines. We ain't, I ain't finna, you know, I ain't no telling when Bill gonna come on, and that's if he come on. So I'm gonna drop these phone lines. Let y'all call into the show. Ain't no need to, ain't no need to uh, sitting here, you know, sitting here waiting. We just gonna get into the show and let you guys call in and tell me what the fuck y'all think. Old sparring footage. What is it? What no? What role is this gonna play? And uh, what role is this going to play in the upcoming fight? Why is Tank Davis' name always being brought up? You get what I'm saying? In these press conferences or whatever, we're going to see what's up. You want to talk some shit? Call me. Start some shit, bitch. Sup, fool? 
You gonna talk shit about me, homie? Where you from? Hundreds of niggas is waiting for your motherfucking call and they all talking shit about you right now. Call the coach at 530-494-9636. We waiting on your bitch ass. Hold on, man. We gonna see what's up. Tender running Fridays. The day, the day Friday, right? Yeah, the day Tender running Friday, man. Shout out to the ladies, man. I'll call them. What's your name? What you from? What up, Coach? Rod from L.A.? Rod from L.A. Talk to me. Man, Coach, people need to stop making that sparring video. Like, like it's a big thing, man. First of all, I was a young Devin. It ain't even that deep. Y'all know what Ryan's trying to do. He's trying to get to Devin's head, but that shit ain't going to work out. Man, it's just funny, Coach. Like, yesterday when this shit dropped, I was listening to the boxing boys. And, like, all these motherfuckers, like, so emotional about it, Coach. Shit had nothing to do with Tank like that. You know, it was Ryan that dropped it and motherfuckers were calling like, man, fuck Tank, fuck Tank. I can't stand that. He hasn't done shit ever since then. Mm. It's like, man, relax, man. The, the, you know, Ryan's just trying to get to uh, Devin Ted, you know? So, but man, coach, man, Ryan's on that coke behavior, coach. Did you see him like throughout the press conference? He kept on like, sniffing on his nose, yeah. going, going at it with um, a fanatic, like all aggressive and shit, coach. Did yeah, you see that yesterday? Yeah, I, I did. I did see the press card. I never seen Ryan Garcia look like this. Um, I, I I know my sister Mimi was saying he's a good act. He, he's an actor. You know, he's a good actor. He's played in some roles or whatever on television. I'm like, well, if he's acting right now, he deserves an Oscar for the next ten years. I mean, if he if he's acting, you know, he is the best actor that I've, that I've ever seen. He's better than mm -hmm. Denzel, yep. Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, hey. uh, you know, uh, 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 Samuel Jackson. He's the greatest actor in the history hey. of acting, if he, if he was acting yesterday. Hey, Coach, if he's acting, damn, this motherfucker is better than Neymar the Caprio, Coach, because this motherfucker can act. Yep. But that shit ain't no acting, Coach. He really looks like he's on some shit. And then did you see him and Oscar? Like, they look like cocaine uh, tag team partners. Wearing all white and shit together. He probably did coke with Oscar, coach, because they look like they're all, all of a sudden, they're like buddy buddies hanging out. Then Oscar posted a video yesterday in his hotel. He looked like he was on coke too. Yeah. I don't know, coach, but I got Ryan by destruction. I mean, I got Devin by destruction. That's my call, coach. Have a good one. All right, salute, fam. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Yes, sir. Shout out to dog on uh, uh, Ryan from LA, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, shout out to Profit Takers. Yeah, man. Look, kind of, you know what I mean? You know, so, I mean, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it, boy. I get it, boy. Ryan Garcia look like he on something. Um, call him. What's your name? What you call him from? Mark from Oakland. Mark from Oakland. Talk to me. Coach, over 20 years ago, I sparred a 16-year-old, knocked him on his ass. This fool will go on to win a gold medal and be in the Hall of Fame. If I, if I do right now, he will beat the fuck out of me. So what the fuck does sparring from whenever the fuck mean today? You feel me? Mm. I mean, grown man whooping on a kid ain't shit. You know? And if it was that easy to beat his ass now, pretty sure that fight would be going down. Instead of all this other bullshit. Mm. They asked Robert Garcia about that shit. Robert Garcia said he knows for a fact videos exist of Ryan getting his ass whooped and Ryan crying and sparring. He goes, but I'm not going to put it out there who got the videos or where this shit happened. Because he goes, sparring, that ain't, that ain't part of the game. You know, it's all about what you do in the ring. He goes, anybody can come to my gym and spar. And we got cameras, but we don't record shit. We don't talk about shit. A lot of motherfuckers done came up in here, got their ass whooped. But that's neither here nor there. So for this clown-ass motherfucker to use what the next man did to try to make somebody look bad, he forgets. Haney got his ass kicked in practice. Ryan got his ass whooped by Tank for real. And not only did he get his ass whooped, this motherfucker quit, coach. That's inexcusable. That's unforgivable. Look how everybody looked at Victor Ortiz after the time he quit against Maidana. He never lived that shit down. You feel me? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the yeah, way this so, kid... Um, yeah, he, he definitely did that. He definitely quit. Um, uh... Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, I don't know, I don't know why Ryan Garcia released this footage. I mean, you know, like I, I, I don't like this. Is what I don't get? How are you bragging about how a, a a guy who beat your ass in real life in the ring that you quit against? 
Yeah, man, the dude that beat my ass, I saw video footage of him whooping your ass in sparring. Like, bro, that's like me. That's like me getting in a fight with a dude, and he this nigga whooped my ass. But then the other right. guy who I'm getting ready to fight, I brag about how the guy who whooped my ass whooped your ass in sparring. True, true, no. true. So, I mean, you if know, anything, so, all so, that proves is Haney could take a better ass whooping than mine. Well, it, it really doesn't prove anything because. We haven't seen the we haven't seen the entire um fight footage, the sparring footage. Yeah. Like, like if I show you highlights, put it this way. It's like two teams playing each other, right? Let's say, let's say the Lakers yeah. playing Golden State Warriors. Golden State win the win Golden State beat the Lakers by 20 points. It's a blowout. But when the NBA showed it, when the or when the Lakers show the footage, they showing you all the footage of LeBron James dunking. LeBron James glide from the free throw line. LeBron James hitting three pointers. You know, um, AD crossing up, doggone uh, Clay Thompson and dunking on him, posting him up. If I'm showing you all highlights of what the Lakers did, you will automatically assume that the Lakers beat the uh, beat the brakes off a of doggone Golden State. But but, yeah. but but when they show the entire footage, you'll see man Golden State blow these motherfuckers out by 25 points. True. True. But anyway, no, Martin, I'm gonna let you go, man. Salute. You get what I'm saying? So that's how I see it. I mean, it just, it just, I mean, it just sparring at the end of the day. That's all it is. But you know, whatever the rules is, you know, I mean, I mean, you know, I, I mean, I get it. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out what was Ryan Garcia's angle. Now he can say, he can say that, uh, he can say that. Look. Bill was talking a whole lot of shit. He kept saying, release the footage, release the footage. So, so Bill kept saying, release the footage, show the footage. And they did release, they did release it. They just, he, they just released the ed edited version of it. You get what I'm saying? But yet, and still, uh, Floyd Mayweather did that. Um, uh, Carla, hold on. Floyd Mayweather did that. So I'm like, okay, Floyd has never released, uh, sparring footage. You heard all these bullshit Superman stories about what goes on at Floyd Mayweather's gym, doghouse rules, all that stuff there, and, and there's never been footage released. Why all of a sudden this footage has been released? And I'm going to tell you why. Bill Haney been talking a whole lot of shit, don't piss Floyd off, and um, Ryan Garcia, you know, whatever. And then and Floyd, like, you know what, I, I, you know, um, like I said before, Ryan, here you go, here you go. You know, Ryan probably gave him a couple of dollars or whatever, and either Ryan edited the video or Floyd team edited the video. But it went from Floyd to Ryan, and that's how I got out there. And it probably because Bill Haney provoked it, more than likely. True, true, true. You know, we've been hearing this shit. Um, Carla, what's your name? Where you call it from? Curtis from Long Beach. Curtis from Long Beach, talk to me. Man, I, I don't think this... Uh fucks with Devin or uh, Bill at all. You know, the shit is clearly edited. Mm -hmm. Devin was, you know, a minor. Tank was an adult. Yeah. Um, I don't think this is... I, I think this actually helps Devin. You know what I'm saying? For this fight, because the people... Now that Tank's name is attached to it, mm -hmm. and Tank talking shit about it, Shakur talking shit about it, everybody's talking shit about this, yeah. it's, it's bringing more eyes to Devin. Yeah. And then it's giving people that thought Ryan didn't have a chance is giving Ryan a big a, a shot. The only thing that's fucking Ryan up is his behavior. His behavior is looking suspect right now, but, you know, people that was picking Devin and all these people that wasn't giving Ryan a shot, they probably rethinking that because of the little tank tape that's out there. And then on top of that, I think this actually does worse for tank than anybody because now he's going to get it from every side. He's going to have the fans that are saying, man, if you were whooping his ass that easy, you need to jump in there with him. And do it right now. That's a good point. Then, you know That's a saying? good point. That is yeah. a good point. Yeah. Yeah, you can't live that down. So I think it puts more pressure on Tank than anybody out there. And then we all know that, yeah, Floyd gave his tape up. And I think Floyd know it puts pressure on Tank, too. You know, because I heard they ain't seeing eye to eye. But, you know, I think it puts pressure on Tank. And then on top of that, come on now, just imagine what would have happened if that Paul Spattle 4 and Floyd Mayweather uh, sparring tape came out yeah. where they said Paul Spattle 4 whooped his ass, it would have forced uh, Floyd to fight him. The, the footage never got dropped. It, get, it never got released because Floyd's people had it. Yeah. So you got to think about that shit. This puts more pressure on Tank than anybody. The shit is clearly edited, and you got a human highlight film of you whooping his ass, but you can see where the shit is cut. So what happened in between those cuts? And then Tank already told the truth on, on the Gillian Wallow shit. He did, yeah. He said, I got tired, 
yeah. he started getting. He said he, did, he said that. He said he did say that. Yeah, he did say that. So you know, I think this kind of fucked Tank up. I don't, I don't think this did shit to Devin. You know what I'm saying? Except for made him a little more popular, and you know, boosted up his numbers. You know what I'm saying for this pay per view or you know this event that's coming up. So I, you know, that's my call. I don't think it did nothing to Dev. I think Tank on the hot seat with this one though. We got to see what Tank gonna do after this. Hey, hey, all right, shout out to Curtis Malone, be salute fam. Hey, you know what? He make a valid point. He make a valid point, and I didn't think about that. Okay, if you reveling, if you are reveling in the fact that, yeah, man, you see how, see how well, see how he was beating Devin Haney. What you think would happen if Tank and if Tank if Tank and Dale fight now? Tank would beat the shit out of Dale. So okay, cool. If it was so easy. I'm calling. Hold on. So the flip side of that, you know, if it was so easy, what then? Why you just won't fight him then? Clearly, you was handling them and sparring, so you should be able to handle them like that right now. But then, when they go to talk about making that fight, it's something totally different. So I do see both sides of it. I do. I see both sides of it. Uh, both. Bo both. Um. No, you can argue both sides of the coin. I'm calling. What's your name? You calling from? Who is this going on? Is Rob from New York? Uh, Rob from New York. Talk to me, Coach. These people have no clue the help that Ryan is giving them right now. Like, the amount of promotion and talk that that, that Ryan is doing for this fight yeah. right Genius. now, Genius. They, have, they, have, they, have, they have no idea how much help this. Because we, what, what we should be talking about, people would be talking about is Canelo leaving PBC and yeah. Canelo not fighting uh, Benavides and Munguia and all that bullshit. They took that, the spotlight. That's creating a fucking... Yeah, they yeah. took the spotlight. Yeah. So the fact, that, the fact that this video has been leaked, regardless whether it's Ryan and, and, and this is a tank and Devin situation, mm -hmm. it doesn't fucking matter because everybody's eyeballs are on Devin, Ryan, and Tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This a lot of people may not like it because it's not very good traditional, mm -hmm. customary... Uh, argument and build up but regardless of what it is people's eyeballs are still on this fight and people are going to tune in most likely this gets 600 to 700 thousand pay-per-view buys and yeah. that's a big plus for Devin. i don't like Devin, but at the end of the day like this is a big plus for him this is going to help him a lot and is doing a lot you know people yeah. may not like his antics but at the end of the day he's bringing a lot to the table and this proves it but that, that's pretty much it, Coach. All right, salute, fam. Talk to Rob New York. Hey, you know what? And, um, exactly. Whatever, well, listen, if, if Ryan Garcia or what, well, I just say Floyd Mayweather because it came from Floyd. Floyd, I know you the one release this footage and you probably leaked it to Ryan Garcia or whatever. But, because that's the only way Ryan got it, he had to get it from Floyd. But whatever your intentions were, if this was footage to make Devin Haney look bad, it actually did the opposite. It's bringing awareness to a fight. Tank Davis' name is attached to it. Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. You guys have, in essence, um, Carla, hold on. What was, see, this, you guys have, in essence, made this fight more popular. It's going to spread amongst the TikTokers, uh, the Tweety Boppers, Twitch and to the gamers and stuff like that. It's going to keep people talking, and then when it get closer to the fight, that's what it's going to. That's when it's really going to re-energize even more. You really are helping um, promote this fight indirectly. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, damn, like that shit. That shit really backfired. Like, if it's me, like Ryan Garcia, this was a genius move by Ryan Garcia. This was a genius move by Ryan Garcia, and um, and maybe shit, Bill Haney. Maybe all of them was in on it. I don't know. Bill, because Bill is a genius too. I'm um, calling. What's your name? Where you calling from? What's up, Coach? It's D Block. Uh, D Block, talk to me. Man, Coach, I want y'all to pray for me, man. I ain't gonna lie. What's going on? You know where I'm at right now, Coach. Uh, you hear me, Coach? Yeah, hey, what's going on? Man, I'm in the I'm in the ER, Coach. Ugh. My blood my blood pressure went down when I saw that video. So D Block, if you if if you in the ER, why you calling why you calling the show? Coach, I just got to inform the people. This is taking this is stressing me out, man. All of it, 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 it's so good that it's stressing me out. Ryan Garcia is a smart, smart person. He knows how to he knows how to sell a fight. Now I know he sold that Tank Davis fight. Now I know he's just gonna sell this Devin Haney fight. Ryan Garcia is a 
is a smart dude. He's smart coach. What you got to say with that? Man, what I got to say, if you are in the ER, the last thing I'm thinking about is Ryan Garcia and selling the fight. You need to, you need to be trying to work, focus on your health, man. Like your health is more important than Ryan so, Garcia and Devin Haney. Uh, coach, sometimes you, 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 dedication is just persuasion, man. Uh, I, I want to tell you something, coach. This fight would generate over 800,000 pay per view buys. My opinion. He did it. And, and, and Devin Haney, you better go after him. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm pissed off at Ryan right now. I can't believe he did that. But it is what it is. He heard Floyd Mayweather whisper in his ear like a mosquito again. I told him to stop doing that. He did it again. Oscar and, and Hopkins, they, they, they need to get him in the corner and talk to him, coach. This is ludicrous. D Block, D Town, D City, D Viz. What's up, D Block, man? I hope D-Block, I hope D-Block get better, man. I hope D-Block get better, but I'm like, damn, dog. Like, you know, you in, um, you in ER. Don't be, shit, the last thing I'm doing is calling the goddamn podcast. You get what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to all, all we own. He's saying that, he's saying that wrong with this guy, coach. I mean, I don't, man, I don't know. I don't know. I have no way of knowing. You know, I don't think D-Block will lie about that, but I just want to let the brother know, man, if he in the ER, man, fuck calling this podcast, shit. You know, you be trying to, you get what I'm saying? Caller, what's your name? Where you call it from? Hey, what's up, Coach? It's Coach Ed from ATL. Coach Ed from ATL, talk to me. Man, I hope these block all right, man. He, he ain't sound too hot when he's on the phone, man. Hey, I, I don't want to make this about D Block. I hope D Block was okay, but D Block ain't got a bit of caught on the podcast. Yeah. We, the show, the show must go on. Hey, but go ahead though. Um, um, uh, he, he and yeah, the yeah, man, man. better, but I don't want to focus on that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but man, this that uh, that video, man. Like I said, you got three. I call this the three D's. You got one guy that's disciplined. Mm. You got one guy that's a duck, and you got one guy that's a dummy. You know, <laughs> that, and like I said, that video <laughs> making tank look like. A duck, a duck, a dummy, and a <laughs> exactly. Man, Coach Ryan Garcia, man. He got video. He got video footage of him getting beat up by Rolly Romero. Rolly Romero beat the brakes off of uh, Ryan Garcia in the Mayweather gym. You know what I'm saying? But man, like at, at the end of the day, coach, it's it's fire, coach. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's good promotion for the fight because everybody's talking about it, man. Uh, it, it definitely boosts the profile. To me, Ryan Garcia already lost his fight because he already got built in excuses. That's why he let everybody know he's drinking, he's smoking. That way, when he lose. He, he said, "Well, I was drinking and smoking. I was in a bad spot." And not only that, now he's talk, now he's showing the footage of Tank Davis, you know, getting out on uh, on Devin Haney, mm -hmm. basically saying, "When I lose, then you can go ahead and fight Tank." You know, like you like Ryan Garcia want to be on Tank Davis nuts. He's been on his nuts ever since he fought. You, you, you know what I'm saying, Coach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has. He has. It he don't has. make it don't make no he sense has. how he been on his nuts. They've been the good friends, and I want, hey, buddy, how you doing? You know, you beat me. Let me get your phone number. I want to hang out with you. Like That, that is kind of crazy. But I will say this. Um, again, I don't know if Bill Haney and the, the Haney's and the Garcia's was in on it. Like, these guys, let me tell you something. A lot of this shit don't, we don't know how organic this is. We, You know, you get what I'm saying? So uh, we just have no way of knowing. Social media, everything is not always what it appears to be. You know, a lot of these, uh, you know, promoters, they lie all the time, sanctioning the bodies, you know, um, boxing fathers, and regardless of who it is, all of them lie, it's, you know, um, for the most part. Um, you know, so this is a part of the promotion. It's doing what it was supposed to do. We are talking about it. None of us going to get any of Devin Haney's or Ryan Garcia's money, or, or so that that's true. So, but we're talking about it. And um, I, I guess this had its intended purpose. If this was the purpose, Ryan Garcia is a goddamn genius. Or, or it could be both. What say you about that? I mean, hey, at the end of the day, it's good. I, I think it was smart to release the footage. Because mm. like you said, you got, you're talking about those three guys. You're talking about Devin, you're talking about Ryan, and you're talking about Tank. Because now Tank has no excuse. If Ryan go, if, if a Devin goes on to beat Ryan, De Devin ain't got, I mean, Tank ain't got no excuse not to fight Devin because he's attached to it. He's co-signing it. He's laughing. He's getting a good laugh out of it. Mm -hmm. So all, now all these guys need to fight each other now at the end of the day, man. He, like I said, I don't think Ryan go, I don't think Ryan believe in himself. Ryan looked like he's on, his face was like he was sweating up there. It looked he swollen. Sweating. Yeah, he was sweating. Like he'd been, yeah, I saw yeah, that. He, yeah, he was sweating. You know, yeah, he was like swollen. Face swollen up. Yeah, exactly. 
Exactly. <laughs> That's the cold sweat. He's sweating. I mean, Derek Jane was trying to calm him down. Say, man, shut up, man. You stack, you stupid, man. Be quiet, man. You know how you about like Derek Jane? Say, hey, man, be quiet, be quiet, man. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on around. The Ryan got you all over the place. At first, he prayed in Jesus. Now he's talking about doing cocaine and sniffing. Man, I don't know what's wrong with this dude, man. This dude all over the place, man. He unstable, coach. Yeah, man. Yeah, but uh, that's my thought. I just want to chime in, man. So it's a good, it's a good move. We, we talking about it. Yeah, I'm yeah. putting more dollars in their pocket, and maybe make the fight bigger than what it would have been. I right, salute. Uh, shout out to Coach Eddie. Salute, fam. Yes, sir. Coach Eddie ATL. <laughs> see, I'm, I see, I want to, I want, I want to explain something to y'all, right? Um, this is good publicity. Good promotions. Remember, Canelo had a lock on the news. Carla, hold on. Canelo had a, a lock on the news cycle in boxing. A, he had it on lock. Had it, in, had it in the figure four leg lock. And next thing you know, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney press conference happened in L.A. And then, boom, mic drop. The, the press conference was fire, but then, boom, mic drop. We're going to drop, the, uh, we gonna drop the, uh, the video. This is, this is marketing 101. I wouldn't be surprised, dog. Because they're not going to tell us the truth anyways, right? But, you know, maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't know. But, bro, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if Bill Haney, Ryan Garcia, the, the Haney's and the Garcia's was at Golden Boy offices or whatever. Okay, dog, let's edit this video, dog. This is what we're going to do, right? Show this part, this part, this part. Now drop it. Boom. Now, I'm not saying that's what happened. But, you know, again, don't nothing surprises me on social media. Uh, because I know how a lot of this shit work, don't nothing surprise me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying me, for me, right? I, 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 you know, I don't never surprise me. Um, Carla, what's your name? You call it from? Hey, Slim, what's good with you, Mo? Man, we talk about practice, Mo. <laughs> but at the end of the day, Slim, of course, I look at this shit completely different than a lot of jokers, man. Right. <laughs> You know the reason why the shit was dropped, really, initially. The initial reason why it was dropped was, and it's, it's easy, to show that Rye did better versus Reggie than Haney. But the thing is, Rye's resume is so light in the ass, they had to go back to when Devin was a teenager for them to have a common opponent. Yeah, That's what the fuck this is about. You dig what I'm telling you? That's what this is about. He didn't do this shit. All this great promote. Nah, 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 nah. It's sad that he had to go back to when Devin was a teenager for them to have common opponents because because Rye done nothing in this sport except be a social media influencer. Like I've been telling y'all, he only moonlighting as a boxer. Mm -hmm. All the fights that Rye supposed to had. Devin did him because Rod didn't want to fight them fighters. The Lenares, the JoJo's, all of them. He didn't want those fights. That's the real reality of the situation. You dig what I'm telling you? Mm -hmm. So, 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 do you think, so, do you think, do you think that, um, um, so Ryan Garcia dropped this video to try to, try to embarrass Devin Haney? Do you think that's what it is? But yeah, it's exactly. Backfiring? Just to say that he, yeah, exactly. Just to say, see, I might have quit, but you was getting beat up from pillar to post in the edited version, in the edited video. You dig what I'm telling you? That's the reason. That's the reason why I was drunk. Y'all, y'all, y'all getting trick bagged by these shit, Slim. This ain't no great promotion. It's just so happen to happen exactly. because they don't. Because my resume is like my ass. It worked out in everybody's favor. It's, it's decent promotion, but that shit was done on the humble. You did what I'm saying, telling you? Uh, so, that shit was done on a humble. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. How, how, did, how, did, how did Ryan Garcia get the footage? Oh, we know how he got the footage. We know how he got the footage. Yeah, you talking he about Floyd Mayweather. already had so, 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 Yeah, so, yeah. Floyd, so, so, Floyd had all the footage. Floyd so, had the footage. Y'all talking about Spot of Four. Floyd got the footage. That wasn't the worst beating he took in motherfucking uh, in, 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 in TMT. It was actually motherfucking... Um, um, it was actually motherfucker Lamont Peterson who cracked Floyd ribs, beat the shit out of Floyd and Spawn. So, so. And it's footage why, of that. But what, let me ask you here there, though. Yeah, so, what, yeah. so what's the purpose of Floyd doing that? Oh, we know what the. Man, Floyd. <laughs> Floyd, <laughs> Floyd, what I tell you from the gate? Floyd always wanted to be in the Ryan Garcia business. 
You dig what I'm telling you? Remember, Golden Boy put papers on Floyd to leave Ryan low, man. Floyd is going to do what he's going to do. He's trying to still be in the Ryan Garcia business. That no matter, I ain't never dispute that Ryan is in a draw when it comes to these, come these fights. But I'm going to be honest with you, Slim. I get y'all giving them credit for this great promotion, but that's not it. That shit was done on a humble, and it just only showed you that Ryan ain't done nothing in this sport other than be a social media influencer who moonlight as a boxer. And, it, and it's working for right now. Mm. It's working for right now, but yeah. he can't. I mean, at the end of the day, he's just a glorified. He, basically, Ryan might be the greatest glorified punching bag in boxing history. Think about it. All right. All right, shout out to Ron Boy Fresh, man. Salute, fam. Yeah, that's all I got, Mo. All right. DC, stand up. Ron Boy Fresh in the building. Yeah, I mean, my thing is, regardless of what the intentions was, it, 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 it's great It's great promotion. Um, call it, what's your name? Where you call it from? Call it, what's your name? Where you call it from? All right, going once, going twice. Can't hear you. Uh, call a call back, man. I can't hear you, fam. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, whatever, whatever, whatever the intent was, I mean, it worked like a charm, whether directly or indirectly. I don't see, uh, shout out to Marcus King. I don't see like, um, you know, uh, the purpose, you know, uh, Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> I, I think, I think Floyd Mayweather probably did this to embarrass Devin Haney, De 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 Devin Haney, even though Devin Haney, Floyd is supposed to be his mentor. But I think he probably did it to, uh, to embarrass the Haney's because of Bill Haney, because of Bill. You know, um, I don't know if this beef is real or not. I told a lot of this shit be WWE. I wouldn't be surprised if these dudes talking behind the scenes. Like, I, I mean, I, I don't know because I don't know. I don't have a personal relationship with a lot of these guys. And, and I do know on social media, I'll call it, hold on. Everything is ne it's not always what it appears to be. So it could be genuine or it may not be genuine. It could be this or it could be that. We really don't have any way of knowing, to be fair. Um, call it, what's your name? Where you call it from? Jamie from New York. Jamie from New York. Talk to me, fam. Hey, coach. I, 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 say, I watch the same. I saw the same video you watch. Mm. And this is how I feel about it, man. Firing sessions don't mean shit, okay? Devin Haney was a kid then, okay? Yes, he, he got his ass kicked, yes. But that was years ago. You know, if they were to fight today, coach, mm -hmm. they would be different, okay? I mean, listen, he's, he, he's, uh, he's more mature, okay? He's got more experience. He's a better fighter. And I'm sure he's got, he's got his man's strength by now, okay? Um, and, um, uh, um, you know, he's got more experience. So I give him that. So I remember, Coach, I want to share with the listeners, bro, people in the chat. I remember hearing that Leonard, Sugar Ray Leonard got, got slept the week of the fight before he faced Hagler. Okay? And we saw what happened mm -hmm. when they met in the ring. So that don't mean shit, bro. And I know this is a different fight, but, again, back to Ryan, Coach. Um, I remember um, him taking a knee and quitting. Mm -hmm. You know, Haney was getting, yeah, he's getting, he's getting fast kicked. By um by um uh, tank that is true, but he did not quit, bro. You know what I'm saying? He held his own in there, bro. And according to um AB, you know, in the fight, um he was coming back. He was holding his own. He never quit. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't like what um Ryan did. You know, putting that shit out there in social media is it, it, brilliant mm -hmm. for 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 selling pay per views. I understand that. Uh, I think it's uh, sports sportsmanship on his part. To be honest with you, um. Um, I give, I, that, that might even backfire coach on, um, uh, on Ryan, you know, that might give, um, um, Haney the extra boost he needs to, to kick Ryan's ass. You know what I mean? So, and I also was under the impression coach, I've been doing this boxing shit a long time. And I thought that what happens, happens in the gym stays in the gym. So him putting that shit about tank out there, you know, he has nothing to do with this fight, but I know it's good for business. So I'm, I got Haney, Haney's going to wash him. I got him leading him clean. Easy decision. And that's my quote, Coach. Thank you for your time, brother. All right. Later. Uh, James from New York. I mean, bro, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I think, me personally, I, th I think wh how, whatever the intentions were. Remember I told you guys about the story the, in the Bible about the donkey in the ditch? And there was, a, you know, the donkey, everybody was throwing stones at the donkey, right? 
And um, the donkey was in the ditch trying to get out, but he couldn't get out. So people was walking by throwing stones at him. You know, pretty much castating him, right? Throwing stones at him. But what happened was they threw so many stones that their intentions was to hurt the donkey and punish him. But they threw so many stones in the ditch that the ditch filled up with the stones that came from the haters and the donkey was able to walk out the ditch. So to me, this is a tale of that. You know, that, hey, if this, if this was something that Floyd did, um, call hold on. And this is something that Floyd did to embarrass uh Ryan, I mean uh, uh Devin Haney. It's a possibility that you know it backfired. Cause everybody caught that it was an edited video. And everybody know the story that it would even Ryan like like Tank David said that, yeah, man, I had, you know, he at the end he ended up getting me because I got tired. So he kind of admitted that he quit it in sparring and stuff like that. He said, I'm gonna get it a kid podcast. And on, on audio video. You get what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Um, call it what's your name? Where you call it from? Coach, what's happening, man? It's Casino Life Press from Atlanta. Casino from ATL. Talk to me. Coach, uh, hey, man. Bro, I don't think it was no backfire, Coach. It ain't no backfire. This all the plan. Mm -hmm. This what happened. This was going on. I got a conspiracy. This was going on. All right, so look. Remember when... Um, all right, so this is what I think, bro. I think Tank want to fight Haney, bro. I think he really, really, I think that's who he wants, right? Mm -hmm. So I think um, the problem is coming from the negotiations and shit, right? Because they, they feel like Haney side ain't bringing enough money for what they're asking for, right? You know, that's what everybody's saying. They want 50-50, but, they, you know, everybody's saying, you know, they're saying they're not worth it, you know what I mean? So, you know, um, the Haney, they trying to figure out a way to become a draw, you know what I'm saying? to be able to get the fight. You know what I mean? So they wanted to fight Ryan. That's why they're fighting the people that think I already done fought. You see what I'm saying? So they wanted to fight Ryan. So when they first agreed to fight Ryan, Floyd jumped in the middle of it. You see what I'm saying? He jumped in the middle of it like, bro, you're not fighting Ryan if you're not going to fight Tank. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what I believe. That's the reason they went on that job. You know what I mean? So when they went on that job, you know what I'm saying? He pulled him out the fight. But then I think behind closed doors, Bill Haney and Floyd got on the same page. That's why they brought Ryan back. And they put Roley with Pitbull. And then this take, this shit building the fight up because it's going to make this fight so big that it's going to sell enough to where Tank can't, they can't say that Devin ain't no draw no more. You see what I'm saying? So basically this fight, the winner of this fight get Tank next. That's how I feel. The winner of this fight get Tank next. That's all this shit is about, bro. The, the winner of it's either going to be, the, it's a win-win situation for Tank. Because Tank gonna get a rematch with Ryan, or he gonna fight Devin. And either way it go, this fight gonna make some money. It's always a plan. It's all Floyd, bro. It's all Floyd and Bill Haney. They all doing this shit, bro. Because right. they trying to get the, the next fight is Tank and Devin, bro. Tank, right. Tank and Devin the next fight. What? All right, I got you. Casino Live Press, ATL, stand up. Um, it is what it is, man. When it comes to boxing, we got it on lock with, 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 with your host, Coach Malachi Williams at True Media Boxing Radio. True, true, true. Hey, shout out to Stephen X. As a matter of fact, let me call. Let me let me call Bill and see what's up. Let me call him and see what's up, man. I'm going to call him right now and see what's happening. Will he answer the phone? I don't know. We'll see. All right. We're straight to... Uh, Went straight to voicemail. Bill went straight to voicemail. So let's see what's up. Uh, let's call. That went straight to voicemail. All right. Let's try another one. Again, he did say he was coming on. Uh, hold on. Let me see. He said he was coming on. So he's going to pull up. We'll see. I hope you don't try to wait till the end of the show, because once once I get to the end of the show, I'm done. Um, let me see. I, cause I, I got I got something I gotta do. Hold on, guys. Let's see what's up. All right, call this other phone, went straight to voicemail. Call this one, he's not answering. So we'll see if he pull up. We'll see if he pull up. Um, 
Shout out to uh Troll. What's going on, Troll? He say Devin in the gym working. Yeah, Devin Haney, Devin Haney is in the gym working right now. Again, I again I don't know. Again, I don't know. The reason why, I'm gonna tell you guys something. The reason why um I don't get too wrapped up into the hoopla of stuff because I know the end goal is for the fighters who are multimillionaires to make more money and the promotional companies to make more money. And this thing is about engagement and stuff like that. So, so I get, so I get, I get the end game. I get what it's all about now. You know, I mean, it is what it is. It, it, this shit could go be all over the place, but Floyd Mayweather released that footage. And I think Floyd did it out of spite to make Dev and them look bad, but I think it, it may backfire. Um, call her, what's your name? Where you call her from? Oh, hey, Coach. This is uh, JB from Charlotte. JB from Charlotte. Talk to me. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, I'm glad, I'm glad that video came out. Um, Devin Haney, his style got exposed. He, his weakness is a boxing puncher with that athletic ability, man. You see how Peyton was walking him down? Is it going to be like a David Hayden playing a brick wall that punched back, man? He, all right, he hung the phone up. Shout out to JB for following. He hung the phone up. Um, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. I heard that I heard that, that, that sparring footage came out. They sparred when Devin Hayden was 16 years old. That was nine years ago. Nine. So... And I think Devin 25 now, right? When would Devin Haney be 26? If Devin Haney, if, when would Devin Haney be 26? If he'll be 26 this year, then that was 10 years ago. Um, call him, what's your name? Where you from? Leo, H Town, Coach H Town. Leo from H Town, talk to me. Phone lines is hot, man, so go ahead, talk to me. Coach, that footage is over 17 and 21. Tank got the best of them. It was doghouse rules. Tank has stated that after he was getting the best of him, Troy started grabbing his arm. He was tired. Devin got the best of him at the end of the farm. So it is what it is. That don't mean nothing, man. It don't, it don't mean he's going to win today or Devin's going to win or Tank's going to win. That he, he won that time. It is what it is. But uh, with all this, that people keep on saying, oh, uh, Ryan's on drugs. Ryan's going through mental problems. But then they're praising Haney, saying, oh, I hope he whoops his ass. He's going to beat his ass. But this last week, we we're calling Canelo a coward. Uh, he's a pussy. He's this. He's that. He wants to fight Jamel Charlo, who's on uh, substance abuse, and he's got mental problems, and that's not a fair fight. How's that going to be a fair fight? They shouldn't allow that fight to happen. But then this fight, everybody's like, yeah, 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 let him whoop Ryan. Yeah, this is this is fair. This is fair. It's fair. Let's do it. I don't get it. I don't get it. it sounds like hypocrisy to me, Coach. It sounds like double standards to me, Coach. I, I don't know what's going on. The hate for Ryan is that much. So we, we want the young man that's supposedly having mental issues and drug problems to get whooped by, by a, a young, fit, strong athlete like Devin Haney. But we want Canelo not to pick on the athlete that's Having mental problems and substance abuse problems. Well, this this Makes this no this, this, this is a, this is a flaw in your argument. I don't like want to talk about Canelo today. You brought him up. You're the first one to bring him up. So I guess Canelo's on your mind, um, Leo. But um, but I get your point. The issue, the problem with that is this: Tank, I mean, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia already have a contract signed, sealed, and delivered, and a fight date to fight each other. And um and um um. Uh, don't want to talk about Canelo, but the Canelo situation. But they had a contract, coach. Yeah, no, 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 no it wasn't signed. It wasn't, it wasn't signed. Again, I don't, again, I don't know. But Canelo has nothing to do with this situation. So I want to focus on this situation right here. Yeah, no, 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 no. I just wanted to point that out, coach. I think we can leave Canelo in the past. That's the only thing I want to point out, coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Other than that. All right, well, listen. Other than that, the marketing strategy Ryan's going by with the video is, is brilliant. But there's more and more people talking about this. Now you got every channel talking about it, even the people that hate Devin, the people that hate Ryan. Everybody's talking about it. And it's setting up a, a fight after this with Tank for whoever wins. So, I mean, there's money going to be made. And I hope both young men are, are healthy and in the right state of mind and give us right, a I good fight. I got to shout out to Leo for Maytime. Salute, fam. I got to Leo. Got all the calls calling in. You know, when it, when it start getting redundant, then I got it. Uh, Carla, what's your name? Where you call it from? 
Mitchell calling from Chicago. Uh, Mitchell calling from Chicago. Talk to me. Hey, cuz we got to stop with the, with the conspiracy. If you want to believe something, it's like we force ourselves to believe stuff nowadays. Coach, if somebody offered you $50 million to fight just to begin negotiation, what conspiracy are you going to be sitting there trying to think of to build to fight up? Uh, well, are you are you talking about uh, the Ryan Garcia and uh, Devin Haney fight that's going on right yeah. now? Yeah, one of the one of the callers called in. He said he thinks this is conspiracy. What conspiracy do you need if I offer you fifty million dollars to fight? I mean, you know, he he, 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 he has a right to feel the way he <laughs> wants to feel. You know, I mean, whether I agree with it or not is relevant, but he has a right to feel the way he, way he feel. I mean, you know, that's why he say that's why the brother said that. Um, um, he said, I feel this and I feel that. I feel that this is what's going on. It's just a feeling that he have. He's, he's dealing, I guess he's internalizing the the, um, the information that he received via video online that everybody's talking about. And that's just how he internalized it. But I feel you though. I got you. I, I mean, I understand that, it, but it's a lot that can happen between now and tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And, and, and to be putting ro unnecessary roadblock in the way of what everybody wants. I mean, I don't see it. Maybe he sees something that we don't see. And with, like, Tank Davis, is he, is he a, um, a solid fighter? Yes, but the biggest talk of your career so far is against a 16-year-old who hasn't even turned pro yet, a highlight tape. That's the big – that this highlight tape is, is bigger than the Ryan Garcia, uh, Javante Tank Davis fight. Yeah. So I, I think that says a lot. So this would be the biggest talk of your career so far. Uh, uh, edited highlight tape, like, like you um, specified, uh, edited highlight tape is the biggest talk of your career so far. Yeah. Not not um, Lomachenko, not Shakur, not Devin Haney in an actual 12-round bout, a highlight tape. Well, I think that says a lot. Of Just get in the ring. That's all we want to see. Like, there's, there's no need for us to argue or fans to be killing each other, making threats. I mean, it's never that serious to me. I mean, if you want to fight, fight. If not, I mean, just say that. But that's all I got, man. Continue the show, man. Good show. I shout out to Mr. Chicago. <laughs> Phone line's hot, boy. Listen, guys. Bill's supposed to pull up. You guys know me. I, don't, I ain't got no cap. I ain't capping and then. I got receipts. But uh, he's supposed to pull up. And I don't know if he's going to pull up or not. I don't know, man. So, I mean, I'm just I'm just being honest with you. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that work out. Um. Call what's your name? You call it from. Hey, what's up, Coach? This Quan from Atlanta, bro. Quan from Atlanta, talk to me. Hey, I really ain't got too much to say into the situation. I pretty much. I wish I had something different, but I think what we're looking at is what we're looking at. I think, you know, Floyd did release the tape. Whether it goes against him or you know, what I'm saying backfires on him, it's remained to be seen. But obviously, the man did it for a reason. Whether that is to, you know, gain attention for his fighter. Or not, it's still big enough this fight. Um, but I will say this: this is kind of sort of what I think when you know companies actually get out of the boxing game, or no longer making the money that they used to, or just like PBC, you know, and what's going on with them right now, Showtime backing out of you know the boxing business. Like it's almost as if everything goes at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, they throw in a lot of attention at fighters, whether it's getting into personal business, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's a mental health issue, substance abuse, it don't really matter. And even with, you know what I'm saying, this fight that's about to take place with Ryan and um Devin, we're now stepping into, you know what I'm saying, the religion game. You got Christianity against Muslims yeah. right now. Like, it's almost as if it's a no hold barn, like, take your gloves off. However, I'm going to get the attention, I got to get it from you. Like I say, you know, Pay-per-view is king. So, like and like you said, I agree with everything that you said. Like, bro, it's, it's, it's an attention grab. It's millionaires trying to make more money. Yeah, so the more much. situations, the more shit you throw at people, yeah. that's just what they're going to get. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is the era that we're in right now. So, uh, that I mean, that that's the way I look at it. And that's why I tell you guys, don't never get caught up in, you know, don't get caught up into – um over analyze stuff you get what i'm saying because at the end of the day the end result is bill the haney's and the garcia's and they're gonna walk away with a whole lot of goddamn money so for me you know i don't see these guys really hating each other beefing with each other like that it's all a part of the it's all a part of uh the theater for me the theater the theatrics 
and you know it, it, it's it's going to increase the bottom and, line. And, so. and 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 it, like I say, like I always say on your show, bro, it's sports yeah. entertainment. Don't sports forget entertainment. about the entertainment, the entertainment part. part. Like yeah. we're about we're talking about a fucking sparring match that happened when Devin Haney was 15, 16 years old. Yeah, like I, I heard it was sixteen. We all know, like casual 16. fans will look at that and be like, "Oh shit, this nigga got the best of Devin." Yeah. But bro. They had on gloves. They had on head. Uh, Tank is gonna fight aggressive if he knows that somebody that's not as can't outpower him in the fight, and he can just take it to him like that. I got you. your phone going in and out, man. But salute to you, fam. Hey, shout out to Quan from ATL. Salute for hey, him. Hey, really. Yeah, his phone was going in and out. It was like I couldn't really, I couldn't really hear what the brother was saying. I, I think um he might was in a bad spot or something. Um, call him. What's your name? You call him from? It's uh, James calling from Dallas, man. James from Dallas, talk to me. Yeah, you know we still a little hurt down here after Earl, man. But I, I just want to put something on somebody on, on people's mind with this here, man. Think about these Lena Elliott. I always holler about that. Tank only wants to fight Devin because he's a big. He's not a bigger name, right? Mm -hmm. But name me one fighter that's big that Tank has fought. Uh that has a big following, other than Ryan. Ryan Garcia. Give me one. Ryan Garcia, that's it. Yeah, other than Ryan. Uh, other than Ryan. Give me one big name. None. So if Tank want to fight Devin, what's holding this up? What's holding this up? What's holding that up? I mean, they don't, maybe they don't want to fight each other. You know what I'm one saying? Guy one guy don't want to fight the other guy, but, um, you know, so. I mean, it's, it's the same situation with other fighters, but I don't want to bring the other guy's name up. But, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You know, from what I've been hearing, Devin Haney is too big. He's a 140-pounder now. He's a weight bully, this and that. And that's why that fight between uh, uh, Devin and Tank ain't going to happen. Um, you know, Bill has been pressing on that. They're trying to make the Tank fight. Everybody from um, Bill Haney to his brotherhood, LDBC, they've been trying to make the Tank fight. They've been saying this and that. So I know, I know, Bill, I know that's the fight that Bill really, really wants bad for whatever reason may be. Um, that's the one he wants but, bad. So. But but I think we should just move on from that because I don't, I don't, I'm like you. I don't think they never fight. I'm like that. I, I feel like everybody else. I don't think they ever fight. I mm -hmm. think it's going to, it's going to continue. Devin's going to continue to move up because he's already struggling to make weight. Tank is small. He's outgrown him. Mm -hmm. So at this point, we might well just move past it. I mean, it make, it make good for commentary to keep everybody talking about it. Yeah. But at this point, man, it's, it's really a done deal. Yeah. And then the thing is, is that has nothing to do with, the, the fight that's coming up in um April with Ryan Garcia and and um Devin Haney. Like, okay, you know, you showing footage of Devin Haney, edited footage of Devin Haney getting beat up and sparring. That particular part that y'all showed, you put all the highlights together where Tank was getting off on 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 um on uh Devin Haney and sparring. What you did all that you right. did all that for what? Like I know I right. get Floyd right. Mayweather's angle. Floyd Mayweather and you know maybe there's some credence to Floyd Mayweather and uh, Bill Haney having some issues or beefing or whatever, just banter, not not beef, but having some issues online. So from a Floyd standpoint, right. him him being so such a narcissist and petty and revengeful, hey, you probably be like, look here, man, I'm gonna get his um, get his footage to Ryan Garcia and let him release it, and Ryan either edited it or whatever, however it worked went out, but it came from Floyd. In regards of what Ryan hey, Garcia hey. did, it came from Floyd. That's where it came from. That's it. Floyd Mayweather. So That's whatever it. Floyd's angle was, his, is his angle. And um, for all intents and purposes, you know, I think Devin Haney was 16 years old on this. So That's my whole point. Uh, if anybody watched the video, they can clearly see Devin is young. Yeah. He's bullying them around. But Devin got off a couple of shots. But anytime you, you know you got a bigger person on you, that's exactly how it's going to look. You're going to look like you're being dominated. Mm. But it only takes one shot. That's it. And Tank yeah. already done explained that later on in the in the sparring match, he got tired, he got beat. Yeah, he said that. He said that. He admitted that. So it was simple. Yeah. Say. So you know, he did admit that, and Agent Brona said it, and all that stuff there. So it is what it is, man. Um, but listen, man, shout out to you, brother, man. Thank you so much, uh, James from Dallas. Salute, fam. I appreciate you. Yes, yeah. So I mean, it is. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is, fam. You know. I mean, you know, shit. Uh, hopefully, I'm hoping. I'm hoping like hell this fight sell. I'm hoping like hell this fight sell sell like it's supposed to sell between uh uh Ryan Garcia and uh Devin Haney. I hope I hope it do good. I really do. Um call what's your name where you call it from? James Lee, coach, what's good with you, my guy? Um James Lee, talk to me. 
Hey, man, I, 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 I kind of hate the fact that the tape came out, Coach, because I wanted to see uh, what kind of steam uh, Ryan and uh, Devin could have had uh, by themselves mm. on on this on this fight, um, because that's 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 that that's the major hole up that the LB keep trying to put in to play about uh, Devin doesn't draw, you know, and things of that nature. I really wanted to see the steam that they pulled from their fight, mm. you know, just so we can really like gauge uh, what's going on. And as far as um, I think I was just I think I was just listening to a brother. Um, he said something about uh, they keep saying that because Devin is not a draw, that's why they're not going. That's why they're not trying to give him the fight. And he keeps saying, "Well, nobody else was a draw uh, that they fought." See, the, the, the people don't understand. Like I always say, coach, as fans, I'm talking about real boxing fans. We want to see these two people fight. We feel that these are the two in and around that division. Are the two best guys we really feel that, or or, or, or one of the, the the best out of the three that we think are, are are good, right? But what you can give a, 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 a nobody, you can't give Devin Haney. Reason being is because they already. We got other calls calling in, so I just want to move to move I understand they already solidified his pay scale. By what he got back from Eddie Hearn, right? So if they don't want to, if, 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 the, if the PBC or way other promotions don't want to give him three, four million dollars because they feel as though that he's not worth three or four million dollars, they're not going to make the fight. But I wanted to see, I wanted to see what kind of steam they could have gained on their fight by themselves without interjecting tank into the fight. You know what I'm saying? That's Floyd Mayweather's fault then. Because if Tank has been interjected into this press conference, that sparring footage came directly from Floyd Mayweather, and everybody know that. So yes, no, no um, doubt. But yeah. what I'm saying is, before then, he was in, he, he was he, he was interjected into the fight. Before the tape even really came out. That's all I've been hearing YouTube and people talk about was Tank and Devin, Tank and Devin, Tank and Devin. And Devin got a whole fight with Ryan. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 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 what kind of, uh, uh, Liz Leonard going to keep on being able to hold over our head that, oh, he don't draw, that's why we not, that's why we not offering him nothing. Yeah, I want to offer I want to see that fight. I'm tired of sitting around as a fight fan not seeing that fight. You I know what I'm saying? I, I don't want it to be, a, I don't want it to be another, another Bud and Spence or another yeah. Floyd and Peggy out. I want the fight. I want to uh, see it. Thanks, though. Appreciate it. All right. You. Hey, shout out, hey, shout out, shout out to James Lee, man. Salute, fam. <laughs> Yeah, man. Hold on, let me uh let me get these super chats out the way first. Uh call, hold on. Uh hold on. Hold on, call, hold on. Hold on, call. I gotta get these super chats out the way. Uh shout out to hold on, let me see what's up. Shout out to Boxing Police. He say Lenares wobbled Haney, but who won the fight? Hey, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, I totally I totally agree with that. He say, uh, shout out to uh, Boxing Police again. He say Tank knocks out big man, but can't drop 16-year-old Haney. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I see what you're saying on that, too. That is another way of looking at it. Um, shout out to CJ dropping that quarter of a dub. He say, um, if Tank was pressuring Devin like that, I want to know what adjustments a 16-year-old Devin made for Bill to leave with the money. You know what? That's a, hey, that's a good question. That's a good question. Shout out to Boston Police. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a dub. He say, Devin swallowed all the punches from Tank. It's still one. That he say he say that's crazy. At 16 years old, Carmel Moten knocks out his sparring partners. By the way, okay. Uh, shout out to Jason Gathers. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a dub. He said, okay, Tank was spanking Dev when he was 16. How does this video help Ryan? But not only that, but it's a minute. I think the video like a minute and 30 seconds. You can't show me. Um, it's like the analogy that I use. Golden State Warriors and the Los Angeles Lakers play each other. Golden State Warriors blowed out the Lakers by 25 points. But Sports Center is only showing. If I haven't seen the game, right? And I watch Sports Center. Sports Center is Sports Center is showing LeBron dunking 45 times. AD shooting 23 uh, three pointers. Um, um, landing, you know, um, um, making 20 of them. And everybody.
Carolina. Boy, you saw the Lakers highlights. Boy, they 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 beat they beat the um they beat Golden State. What people don't know is Golden State um blow the Lakers out by 25 points. But you only saw all of the highlights from the Lakers. Do you get what I'm saying? So depending on which side of the fence you are on, you're gonna believe what you want to believe. Um, it is what it is. Call us name call from. Martin from Oakland. Martin from Oakland two times. Talk to me. Yeah, coach. Have you seen the the video footage of Ryan doing mids with Derek James? Yeah. Man, I swear to God, if you never seen these guys fight, didn't know shit about them other than one guy is supposedly a 15-time national amateur champ and the other guy's a seven-time national amateur champ, I guarantee you, you guess wrong who's the 15-time champ. Ryan over there looking like his amateur hour. He looking like one of these celebrity boxers. I mean, I don't understand how this fool wants to critique somebody like Amy, who's just getting better and better. Because if you look at Ryan's last five fights, he don't look like dog shit. I'm talking about from getting dropped by Campbell to not being able to close the ring off, cut, you know, cut the ring off against Chicago, to looking mediocre against Fortuna, who was washed, to that bullshit against Duarte, to getting embarrassed against Tank. It's like, what the fuck are you, who the fuck are you to criticize the next man? You know? I mean, I get he's trying to sell a fight, but all he's doing is making himself look dumber and dumber. I got you. That's all I got, Coach. Shout out to Martin. Man, he got them phone lines. He fight, but these phone lines is hot today, boy. See, we got over 700 people in here, man. This phone line is hot. Carla, hold on. Um, shout out to AP. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a bam dub on your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super Jack received. Playtime's over, boy. boy. AP say, I hate when they say that um, Devin was young. Tank was young too. Do y'all say LeBron James was young when he um, is better than the old players? Uh, you know what? Uh, this 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 is the this this is the flaw in your argument. Tank is like four or five years older than Devin Haney. So if if we are stating facts, you are saying that I hate that they keep saying Devin was young. So that means you hate the facts. The facts is he was young. He was sixteen years old. So that means that um, when people say Devin Haney was young. That bothers you. It affects your feelings some type of way. But those are the facts. He was young. And you. And if you can acknowledge that, you do know that Tank Davis is older than doggone Devin Haney. Tank Davis is 29 years old, and I think Devin Haney is 25 years old. So um, just imagine being a teenager, and you're 16, and you're fighting an adult that's 20. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot in fighting. Especially if you like street fighting or whatever the case may be. So those are the facts. He say Tank was young too. Yes, Tank was young. Tank was four years um, older. He was young as well. But Devin was younger. That's it. You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, I get it. I mean, I understand uh, it makes you feel some type of way. But the, that's the reality of the situation. Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People prepping, prepping, sharp as razor blades. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? What's up, Coach? Mike from Philly, Coach. Mike from Philly, Coach. What's up, man? Listen, that that far ass shit, that that shit didn't it didn't show me nothing. You know, all it showed me is that last time I checked, Dev won the money, right? Then they win the money. So uh, that's what you Bill dropped said. the edited video. You dropped you dropped the edited video, which I already knew once this part came out, it was going to be edited anyway. But you dropped that, and then. You don't, you, you drop the, the sperm and you getting the best of him. Like, that shit really mean to me. I wasn't impressed at all. Mm -hmm. Like, it didn't show me. It, it actually made me think that he really can't beat them. Because oh, it's a 40-minute video and you showed a, a, a minute highlight tape. So what all happened, what all transpired within that 40 minutes? We don't know how good that was looking. You know what I'm saying? To, make, to change the public perception of what's going on. So that's why I said that that tape was bullshit. It, it actually made me think that Tank really can't beat Devin. Now. It actually solidified that for me. I don't think that's why he don't want to fight him now. That's why he could have been for Devin. Mm. But undisputed, he had ample opportunity to fight Devin, and that's why because he knew in that sparring he was 16 years old, and he said, "Damn, this young boy got the best of me out here." That's what I got from that. All right, well, shout out to Mike for feeling, man. Salute, fam.
I mean, it is what it is. It's like, hey, this is another thing I want to talk about too. I just want to pivot just a little bit. A lot of times we don't get these fights because one guy says he's you on the wrong side of the street or you with a different promotional company and you got to be willing to cross the street. And if you, as you on the other side, and we're going to talk about this uh, in another live. Hold on. Carla, hold on. You on the other side and stuff like that. Wrong side of the street, different promotional companies, all this shit right there. Just imagine you won't fight another guy because, and again, I'm a fan of the sport of boxing. I don't, I don't do network politics. I don't do promotional company politics. I'm from the old school. I didn't decide to support a fight or, or a fighter or not support a fight or a fighter because he signed to a certain network or promotion of the company. That's dumb shit. But I say I would like to say this. Um, just imagine you being a, on a football team and you're the Kansas City Chiefs. And you you ball and you say you good, you part of the best in the AFC or whatever. And you say, well, I'm not going to play the Chicago Bears because they're on the wrong side of the NFL street. They're with the NFC, I'm with the AFC. <clears throat> and if the Chicago Bears want to play us in the Super Bowl or whatever, they are going to have to cross the street. Like, to me, this is what, when people say you're on the wrong side of the street, all that stuff there, that's what that shit reminds me of. It's dumb. Nigga, do you, are y'all going to fight each other, yes or no? Who cares what side of the street promotional company you're on? Y'all, both promotional companies get together and try to make it happen. Now, of course, boxing in NFL is apples and oranges. I do understand that, but I just want to throw that out there. That's how, that, that's how dumb that shit sound to me. Do you get what I'm saying? Come on, man. Especially when we have a, a several examples of fighters from different networks and promotional companies fighting each other in the past. So that kills the argument. Um, Carla, what's your name? Where you call it from? What's going on, Coach? This T Skills, Jersey. T Skills from Jersey. Talk to me, fam. What's going on, man? Uh, I don't know. I, like like everybody's saying, you know, you, you shouldn't put uh, too much credence into this. But at the same time, it kind of shows how the, the, the hierarchy when it comes to Tank, Devin, Shakur, and Ryan. And from what I've seen, I understand that, that, that Devin was 16 years old. I get that part. Mm -hmm. But still, it shows that Tank, Tank is just, the, he's better than them. He's better than them. He was better than them then, but I don't know if he's better than them now. Now, I will give Haney uh, uh, credit. Hey, Haney has got 18 times better, 20 times better than, than, than that spawn session. And I know for a fact that it won't be as easy as it was but I still got Tank beating him. But that's no slight to Haney. I think Haney is a really, really good fighter. But I just don't think he has what Tank has. That's just my opinion. As far as why did Ryan put that out there, Ryan kind of put it out there because of all of the trolling that came from Devin. Devin been trolling the hell out of him. And then you mean Devin or Bill? You know, with, uh, with, yeah, well, both. Well, oh, you know yeah. what I mean, if, if you're going to say Devin, then you're saying Bill. You're going to yeah. say Bill, you're saying Devin. It's a package deal. You're right. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I feel like they was trolling, and I feel like Ryan was down on the trolling because, you know, once he started talking about that beer and, 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 and he's slacking, and Ryan was looking real bad, so he needed something. So I think he went to Floyd, and I and Floyd okayed it. But why, it's why, neither why, here nor why, there. Why did, why did, why, why did Floyd okay it? In your opinion. I think Floyd okayed it because of what, what, what Bill was saying. You know, Bill was talking about uh, he retired from labor. Uh, his, uh, he, he, Bill was saying outlandish shit. Like, oh, uh, my son went in the ring and made Floyd hang it up. And like, he was saying some wild stuff. So he did it out of spite. So he did it He did it out of spite. He was upset. Huh? He, did, he did it out of spite yeah, because he, he was upset. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, shake things up a little bit and, and also bring more eyeballs to the to, to, to what's going on and, and to keep uh take things fresh. You know what I mean? All right. So that that's how I kinda look at it. Like, you know, but I but you know, I, I I'm not taking nothing away from Devin, so it kinda hurts me a little bit because I'm a good I'm a tank fan and I hear a lot of these jokers come up here and they wanna kill Tank to try to big Devin up. And I don't understand why you just can't 
can't, you don't have to, you don't gotta kill Tank to big Devin up. You don't gotta talk about Tank's resume to, 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 to give Devin props for sticking in there with Tank. Just say, yo, you know, Devin was younger, he was smaller, he, he still held his own in there, he didn't get put completely out. That's cool, man, but I, I, don't, I think, like, I, I'm not going to diss Tanky, and I don't think people should be dissing Tank because he, he, had, to, he had to give, uh, uh, Tanky a little act right when he was younger. You know, that's all that was, you know? Shit talking, and you had to get a little act right, but that's my still, coach. I salute, fam. Tell out to, uh, tell out to T Skills from Jersey. All right, we have a no call ID. No call ID. You ought to know who this is. You ought to know who this is. This is uh, Saquon from Brooklyn, pretending to be E Money from Texas. So let me, let's entertain this for about five seconds until I get tired of the shit. Um, uh, Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? Hey, that's Austin from Texas. Yep, you ain't getting no sign. You hung up. Um, hung up on him right quick. You ain't getting no sign. Troll want attention. You ain't getting it today. I'm not in the mood. Uh, shout out to Eric Young. Eric, what's going on, fam? What's going on, fam? Eric Young with the lick read. Uh, shout out to Ebony76. What's going on, sis? Ebony76. Uh, shout out to Legacy Mindset. What's going on, fam? Shout out to Brady12 in the building. Say, say, call you say, Coach ain't smoke today. I mean... Uh, no, nah, not really. No, nah, no, nah, nah. I smoke, but um, I'm, I, I smoke, but I haven't eaten anything today. So, I haven't eaten anything today. I'm kind of like uh, have I haven't eaten anything at all. So I'm kind of hungry, a little bit, a little irritated. But I'm, I, I'm, we'll be good though. I'm um, calling. What's the name you calling from? Uh, my, I'm calling Billy. I can't hear you, man. You're on your phone going in and out, bro. Sound like you're on a Obama phone. Uh, what about now? Is it better? Yeah, sound better. What's your name, is? Um. My name is Kyrie. I'm calling from Philly, Kyrie and I was Philly. just like, I'm a, I'm a fan of Tank Devin, and I always thought that Devin would beat Tank. I'm more of a fan of Tank. That's why I thought they was hiding him from me. Mm -hmm. But as in the scene as far as session, if you could do that to somebody, why did he, why did you let him go undisputed in his weight class if he could easily beat him like he did? I mean, bro, that, that's a that's a good question. Um, I think it's just a matter of. Tank wanting to fight the guy, and if he don't want to fight him, they're not going to fight or whatever. I don't know, man. Like, you know, Devin is in a new weight division, and I told Bill Haney this. I said, look, man, you got to leave them people alone. The people say they don't want to fight you. It is what it is. The fact of the matter is Devin Haney is fighting Ryan Garcia now. Um, I'm starting to hear some, certain Tank fans saying that, hey, Devin Haney is, uh, is fighting Tank Davis's leftovers. Um, <clears throat> to pivot a little bit, but if, 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 if you want to use that argument – if Tank has fought fighters in the past that had losses prior to him fighting them, then he fought other fighters' leftovers as well. As well. So <clears throat> I've been hearing a whole lot of stuff, man, but Floyd Mayweather releasing the footage, you know, because of issues him and Bill may be having. It's just a whole lot of shit going on, fam. So. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all. Don't let me off. All right, salute, man. Shout out to Kyrie, man. Finish, stand up. There's a whole lot of shit, man. There's a whole lot of shit, you know. I advise everybody, don't get too emotionally invested into this. You get what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, call it, what's the name you call it from? Hey, what's up, coach? It's D-Block two times. D-Block two times, talk to me. Hey, what's up, my brother? I just got out, man. I'm good. Took my medicine. Doctor said, don't forget to take your medicine. I'm good now, my brother. Y'all doing good? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on with you? Uh, coach. Now, you know, I know a lot of people from Baltimore are pretty upset right now because we're going at them. I know a lot of Devin Haney fans are upset because Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia and somehow with Floyd Mayweather made a connection. I don't know. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy of the promotion that Ryan Garcia is making out here. But I'm kind of disappointed in him, Coach, because I feel like he's aligned himself with Floyd Mayweather to a certain degree, like a puppet. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't let himself be a puppet, Coach. What you got to say with that? Um, the, you know, the thing is, is it does seem like they have some kind of connection. Ryan Garcia, Floyd yeah. Mayweather. At the end of the day, regardless of what you think about the spawn footage that, that was released, this came from Floyd Mayweather. Period. No matter how you slice it, no matter how you dice it, this came from Floyd yeah. Mayweather. That's what it is. So, You're right. It's called jealousy, man. 
It's called jealousy because you got a youngin that you had under your own banner down there. Your own father uh, fought, uh, helped, fought, I mean, helped uh, train. And you saw something in him that, that at the end of the day, you even wanted him. He didn't want to be with you. He wanted to do his own destiny. And now you upset. His daddy said, hey, my, my, my youngin retired Floyd Mayweather. Floyd didn't like that. Floyd didn't like, he never, I bet you he never did like Bill at the end of the day. Yeah, he probably felt like Bill was too involved with Haney. And he couldn't put his hands around uh, uh, Devin Haney and say, come over here, I'll take care of you. But Bill was there as the father trying to protect his son from anybody trying to mess with him to a certain degree or use him. Bill did the right thing. And I think Floyd Mayweather is jealous over that. Because Devin Haney right now, undisputed, the WBC at 140, Ryan Garcia, I'm disappointed in you as a fan of yours. I mean, you you making me you making me tr- uh, try to get to the point where I ain't gonna sponsor you no more, man. It's to that point. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be a great fight, great promotional, and I can't wait for the pay per view numbers to come in and let's make this fight great. D Block, D Town, D C D Bill, talk to me. Yeah, um, that that's the first thing I thought about. I say this is Floyd Mayweather. This is Floyd Mayweather right here, man, because we always hear Floyd got the footage, Floyd got the footage, and it might be some credence to what's going on, some beef or whatever between two millionaires. Because, see, this is how I look at it. Now, a lot of guys online, they, they, if you're living your life vicariously through Floyd Mayweather or Devin Haney or Tank Davis or whatever, I look at it like this here. These are millionaires um, airing out their dirty laundry, so to speak, on a, on a public platform like social media. Call it, hold on. That's that's how I look at it. These are millionaire problems. You know, champagne, champagne problems. I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. Caviar eating problems. They said another gave you niggas money. Private jet flying problems. Wait a minute, man, 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 man. I ain't got no benefit being most of the best in that shit myself. You know what I mean? Shout out to Sabrina Lee. Hey, okay. Dropping that half for Bam your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super Jack received. Playtime's over, boy. boy. Sabrina, what you said? You said, what's good, chat? Coach, she said, I'm late today. She said, um, does this sparring footage mean Tank versus Haney next? No, it don't mean that. Don't mean that at all. Like, you know, everybody is basing, hey, man, based on what we saw from a minute and 40 second edited clip that Tank will automatically beat Devin Haney. It don't, that don't, that don't mean nothing. It, it don't, it don't mean shit. Uh, shout out to Keith Bulldog. Hey. Okay. Dropping that dub on your boy. He said, just for support, salute, coach. Man, Keith Bulldog and Selena, uh, Sabrina Lee, I appreciate y'all. Yeah, it don't, it don't mean nothing. Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People pimping, pimping, sharp as razor blades. Carla, what's your name? Where you calling from? Man, done talking. I'm calling about that Bay Area, man. Uh, I, I, I just they, wanted to touch talk to on me. a few topics that uh, they didn't touch on yet. Uh, the topic that I wanted to touch on is really, you know what I mean? Everybody keeps talking about this power that Ryan got, that Devin don't got. But I remember watching a video where they was punching the bag meter. And, you know, Devin was seven. De- Devin was several points ahead of Ryan in this punching battle. And I felt like, you know, the opposition that Ryan had versus Devin Haney's display, you know, that boy got power. Them boys be leaving up out of there lumped up. Bumped up, you know what I mean? Ribs all different colors. So when they say, you know, Devin ain't got that power, you know, I say he gonna show the world something within his next two, three fights that's gonna clearly separate him from every other fighter that's in the sport. Me personally, that's Doug talking. Okay. Now shout out to salute to you, fam. Shout out to Bay Area. Uh, bro, like, uh, again, again, I'm hoping, yeah, I, I, listen, I remember, I remember saying, saying to Bill, I say, look, man, y'all should be on TikTok, y'all should be on, uh, you know, promote the fight the way, uh, Tank and Ryan did when they fought each other. Social media, right, do it the exact same way, right? Um, Floyd Mayweather is the root to all of this, because at the end of the day, he is the one that released the footage. For whatever the reason may be, he did it. Whatever, um, you know, banter or whatever. You know, he is a narcissist. And Bill is very egotistical himself. So he's going to, um, you know, he's promoting his son. And he, he going, yeah, we did this, we did that. 
he's going to be on the offensive. You know, he's always going to fight back, strike back, whatever. Um, if there's issues going on in the party with two millionaires, you know, the, hey, man, so be it. Um, at the end of the day, they're going to split a big, they're going to split a big bag. Um, Ryan Garcia, he looked kind of crazy. He, something looks like it's something wrong with him. I remember Mimi 24 saying that he is an actor and I'm like, well, if he's acting, then he's doing a hell of a job in acting. Like this is a Denzel Washington on training day type of performance. This is a Denzel on John Q type of performance. Denzel playing Malcolm X type of performance. Do you get what I'm saying? If Ryan Garcia is acting, he's on that level. Another call, another call. Um, call it, what's your name? You call it from? Hey, call it, it's Austin from Texas, man. What's your name is? Collect. Yes, I was wanting to put my time in on um the video, man. Um, you know Floyd Mayweather is the greatest boxer ever. He taught take everything mentally about boxing. So. How will Devin Haney be able to get past Floyd Mayweather ad tank? It doesn't make sense. Floyd Mayweather know everything about Devin Haney. He know how... Can you agree with me? Floyd Mayweather can beat Devin Haney. Right? Um, shout out to Rod, man. Shout out to Rod. Um, shout out to Stephen S. Stephen S., what's going on, fam? Ed Siberians, what's going on? Jason Follower, Christ. Uh, Frank, Gertz, Small X, Stephen X, L. Harvey, Mimi24, um, The Surge. What's going on, fam? It is what it is. Phone lines open, man. 530-494-9636. We the Charlotte Twins. We known for calling everybody out. Please call these I'm people not scared. out. Listen, the whole world's looking at you. Call these people out, What's please. up? It's the Jamal the Hitman Charlotte. Let's get it. Who want it? <laughs> Name them names, man. <laughs> they know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. The <laughs> names need to be named. <laughs> they know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. Mexican monster. The Yeah, these trolls. Um, yeah, these trolls. They something else. Like, I don't know. They ain't get no shine today. No shine today. Not today. Not today. I'm just, I'm just hanging up on they dumb ass. Um, sound like it. Sound like the whole ass nigga. Um, um, what the whole ass nigga name? Saquon, that's what it sounds like, Saquon. Sounds like they're like, that's a grown, that's a whole grown, light-skinned nigga with gray hair. This nigga in his 40s. This is an old nigga. This an old, this one of them old Crescent niggas. Ain't getting no pussy, ain't getting no money. You can believe that he ain't fucking nothing. And ain't getting no money. Broke nigga. In his 40s, old Crescent. Um, call him, what's your name? Where you call from? Hey, Coach, this Jerry from Tampa. Jerry from Tampa, talk to me. You know, um... I'm just tuning in, but I saw that video. I think Devin was 17, um, you know, during when he sparred Tank. Uh, I, I heard Bill, he I heard Bill, a I heard Bill tell, tell me he was 16. That's what Bill told me in the past. Hold on, Coach. I can't hear you that well. All right, well, if you can't hear me that well, um, then that, that's, that's, that's your phone. It has nothing to do with me. Yeah, I can't hear you now. So yeah, Devin. I mean, you know, he was a kid. They, they're different. They're different athletes now. I think Ryan's just trying to troll him. Um, and honestly, I mean, I, I'm not gonna. I wouldn't. Wouldn't bet a penny on uh, on Garcia for this fight. Um, I think this might be Devin's easiest fight in the last few years. His last three opponents, you know, they're definitely tougher than um, than uh, Ryan. Uh, but you know, he's got a lot of the casual, so I'm sure they'll make good money. Um, but that's all I got for you, coach. All right, shout out to Jared from Tampa. <laughs> shout out to Hustino. What's going on, fam? It is what it is, man. Um, again, this shit right here is just, this shit is just, uh, you know, Floyd Mayweather. This had, this is Floyd Mayweather all over. Um, I think this was meant to embarrass the Haney's. It might have backfired, so to speak. Does it have any reflection on um Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia fighting each other? No. Ryan Garcia is gonna have to be the one to get in the ring and fight. Uh uh call hold on. He's gonna have to be the one to get in the ring and fight. Um he don't look right to me. 
I thought he was just, I thought it was a publicity stunt prior to yesterday's press conference, but he doesn't look right to me. So um, I got Devin Haney beating Ryan Garcia. I mean, he's he has a puncher's chance, but I, I just, you know, I just think that highly of Ryan Devin Haney's skills at this point, to be fair. Um, Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? What up, Coach? It's Martin from Jersey. Martin from Jersey, talk to me. Coach, I, I don't know if it's your phone or mine, but the other caller couldn't hear you for a little bit. I, I, you sound real low right now. I sound low right now? No, nah, nah, now you're good. Now you're good. It, it sounded a little low when you started talking. But yeah, Coach, Um, two things. Like, uh, help me understand, like, uh, when it comes to Ryan and Kill Fimo, like, these guys are always talking about God, and then they turn around and cursing up a storm. Like, come on now. Uh, that's ridiculous. And then Ryan getting high and all this stuff, and then he, he starts talking about Jesus Christ. Like, like which one is it? And the, and as far as the video, like, there's a video. The video don't mean nothing. He was 16 years old. Uh, Tank was a grown ass man. Like, there's a video of Tank beating up on uh, Teofimo too. Like, it's sparring. Like, it's when he was a little kid himself. Like, I don't see, I don't see much. I don't think much about uh, of the video. I still think like Devin Haney is a way better fighter than in that video now. Like, it's a big difference. He's a much bigger uh, man. He was a little kid now. He's a grown ass man. So it's, it's totally different. He's a skill fighter. He improved a lot. Over the last, I don't know, three three fights, like cause that performance against Regis Progre, that that was his best performance yet. And he even showed a little bit of power, like he he, he could if he if, if he hits the gas on somebody, I think he could he could put somebody away. So that's and then Ryan, and Ryan, I think I, th I think he got a chance to stop him, Ryan. To be honest with you, uh, Coach. All right. What you what you got to say about that? I mean, we'll see how it play out. You know what I mean? I don't know if he will. It depends on which Ryan Garcia shows up. Um, I have no way of predicting it. You know, um, Devin Haney has, hasn't stopped anybody in a long time. So if I go off recent history, he has shown an, an, uh, uh, an inability to be able to stop his opponents. So I don't foresee him stopping Ryan Garcia unless he do something different. Um, but other than that, 12-round decision, that's what I see. But shout out to Mar from Jersey, Man, I mean New York City. Um, go ahead. Let's wrap it up. All right, coach. All right, Snoop. Yeah, uh, shout out to Stephen S. What you say, Stephen 47? You said you got hanging by UD? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he hasn't, you know, he hasn't, he showed the inability to not be able to knock out uh, Regis Pro Gray and then a whole bunch of fighters prior to that. I think Devin Hayne only, only has 15 knockouts. So, I mean, you know, you know, I, I don't. I don't see it unless he changes his approach. You know, we'll see because uh, I remember I told Bill, look, man, you got an opportunity to knock this kid out and read this program. He called, hold on. And he said, I told him not to do it. You told him to pull back. And I'm like, bro, that was a dumb move, in my opinion, because you could have been the fighter to, that did something to read this program that nobody has done. And that stop him. Why would you as a trainer tell your fighter not to stop an opponent? When he could have stopped him, he ended it. Did you get what I'm saying? That didn't make no goddamn sense what Bill said to this day. Uh, you know, so it, it, anyways, call him, what's your name? Where you call from? Um, call him from Baltimore, B-more, man. Kirk Jones. Shout out to Kirk from B-more. Talk to me. How you, how you doing, brother? Yeah, but, um, I think it's all a publicity stunt. You know what I mean? Yeah, me. Um, will Devin, Devin and Tank fight? I really think they will, but at the end of his Tank career. I don't think Tank ready to fight me, Devin or T.O. or Shakur right now. He's just getting his money up right now. Yeah. Um. The, the thing. The thing is, is uh, the, the reason why the reason why I'm not tripping about Tank is because they let it be known from day one what it's going to be. We know we're not going to fight any of the right. top guys. Uh, we have a, a a plan over here for Tank, and Tank is following that plan to a T. He's been on different podcasts saying that he never asked for those type of fights. So it is what it is. I, I've accepted that. So, I mean, I'm not tripping. I've accepted it. I've Same accepted here. It. Same here, Coach. All right, shout out to Kurt, man, for B-more. Salute to you, brother. <laughs> Kurt from B-more, stand up. Shout out to G-Funky. Um, you know, shout out to G-Funky. Again, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it's, it's a clip. It's a footage. Floyd Mayweather, like, I'm not even mad at Ryan Garcia. I think this is good. We got people talking about it. 
Um, you know, it's a good. I got people talking about it. I'm not mad at Ryan Garcia or whatever. At the end of the day, this is a reflection of Floyd Mayweather because the footage came from Floyd. So, you know, um, clearly this is whatever beef that Floyd and um, um, Bill Haney have going on, whatever beef that they have going on, that's what this is as far as I'm concerned. That's what this is about as far as I'm concerned. Carl, what's your name? Where you calling from? Jamie from New York. Jamie from New York. Two times. Talk to me. Yes, sir. Coach, my bad calling a second time, bro. Um, I wanted to make one point um, earlier. This I know about boxing. Chavez beat the shit out of Greg Hogan. And Kit Chocolate killed a man for calling him gay in one of the press conferences. Mm -hmm. So if I were Ryan, watch what you say. Watch how you say it. Because you might get it. I think that video was out of line. And boxing is not a game. That's my call, bro. Hi, Todd Day from New York. Let me ask you guys this. Let's pivot a minute. Let's pivot a minute. What do you guys think about the religious aspect of this? Devin Haney says he's a Muslim, right? The Haney's. All praise is due to Allah, Alhamdulillah, all of that stuff there, right? De Ryan Garcia says he's a Christian. You know, um, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, this and that. Both camps are not exemplifying um, what they profess out of their mouth from a religious standpoint, both camps are, I'll call it, hold on. Both camps are, alhamdulillah, one minute, the, you know, I'm going to fuck you up, I'm going to do this, you know, and all the other stuff, monkeys the next minute, right? And then one, then, then one guy, you know, Jesus this and Jesus that, but then, you know, I'm smoking and drinking, but then, I'm saying whatever I'm saying to you on the other side. So do you feel like both guys are an example of their faith? Are, 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 they, are, they, are they showing that they are examples of the faith that they claim to represent? Or do you see both of these motherfuckers as full of shit? You get what I'm saying? What's that y'all about that? Carla, what's your name? What you call it from? Dave from Memphis, Coach. Dave from Memphis, talk to me. Yeah, hey, Coach. My take on it, I, I believe that uh, Floyd, I believe, like you were saying, you know, he released this thing. I think thinking it was going to hurt the, hurt the, you know, the fight. But uh, to your point, I, I believe that it's going to actually cause you know more people to tune in. And as the fight gets closer, it's going to even actually help the pay per views. But here's my question to you, Coach. What I got. Is Ryan doing all this, this this stuff that he's doing, and whether or not he's acting or whatever he's doing? My question is this: He know they're gonna have to have body care, so how they gonna go forward? He's gonna say he's smoking and and he's doing this other, you know. I mean, regardless of cocaine or whatever that shit, I don't know. But you know, I'm just saying, you, we know what they did to Keyshawn, and then there he is. If it is the case, and he got to take that body care, I mean, usually what six, eight weeks away or. Well, now, you, you know, know that's what a, depends on what. what now you make huh? you make you make a valid point. If Ryan Garcia is doing all of these things that he say he's doing, smoking or whatever the case may be, aren't they drug testing? If they are drug testing, exactly. then 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 depending on what they're testing for, you know, it is what it is. I I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. That was and all. And, and then that, if that's the case, then then uh, won't they then take his fight that his his previous fight that he just won, that'll be taken away from him. So, I mean, I believe it's all cap. I don't believe the boy that damn stupid, yeah. I, I guess is my point I'm making. Yeah. I believe this is they just trying to sell this damn fight, kind of going back to your credit where you said it's some genius shit. I believe, I mean, to whoever credit, they thought it was going to hurt. And Ryan seemed where he could say, hey, I can use this to my advantage, okay. And then and then he gets him to uh, give him that tape, and he released that shit for the opposite of what Floyd thought he was going to do. Ryan was thinking, hey, I can get these the bag bigger. That's my take, coach. All right, salute, fam. Shout out to uh, shout out to Dave from Memphis, man. You know, it's all it's all it's all it's all dependent on it's all dependent upon what are the, what is the it's all dependent upon what the what the um what the um the what is VADA testing? What are they testing for? You know, if, if both of these men are uh, part of the the clean boxing program, then you know, you know, you get what I'm saying. So I don't know, man. That that was a good question. That was a good question. That was one of the questions I had written down that I was going to ask Bill Haney. Bill Haney seems as though he's not coming on the show, guys. I have receipts where he did say he will show up. 
but he's not here. He's not showing up. So I reached out to him. I called him on the show. It went to one, it went straight to voicemail and the other one he didn't pick up. So I tried. I just want to throw that out there, guys. You know what I mean? You guys know me. I ain't no cap artist. If I say some shit, God damn it, you better believe that's what it is. So, um, but shout out to Eric Young, Keith, Keith Bulldog. Salute to you, fam. He said, uh, he said, yo, go with Ali infamous, uh, for the best trash talking in the game. Yeah, man. Ali, 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 Ali was a mug, man. Ali was a mug. You get what I'm saying? Uh, Shout out to Do oh, Dr. Paul. What's going on, fam? So what do you guys think about that? Do you think that do you think that both of these guys are examples of what they're professing to be? Because, you know, there's always conducts. You know, like when I was in the nation of Islam, call it, hold on. They used to ask, you know, what's the conduct of a Muslim? What's the conduct? Like, you know, how do you, how do you, you know, how, how do you know, how do you know someone? And again, I don't give I, again, I don't give a fuck either way because, you know, it ain't got nothing to do with boxing. Like me, we got a boxing criteria over here, man. We, I, it, I, it don't make me know, never mind. But I had people hit me up. Because I hear people say this all the time. Like people who hate Bill Haney. Oh, that's a fake Muslim. He ain't, he ain't really on that, this and that, this and that. I'm like, well, Tank say he's a Muslim now. Muslim, right? Not Muslim, Muslim. And, you know, Ryan Garcia is a Christian. So, you know, it is what it is. What does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Nothing. What does that have to do? Who's going to win the fight April the 20th? Nothing. What does that have to do with is Tank and, Ryan, Tank and Devin Haney going to fight each other? Nothing. None of that has anything to do with anything. It's a distraction. If these niggas ain't talking about fighting each other, all the other shit don't mean a goddamn thing to me. True, true, true. We got a fight going down in New York April the 20th. That's what I see. Call it, what's your name? Where you call it from? It's G5 from the Bronx, coach. G5 from the Bronx. Talk to me, fam. Only thing that video did to me, in my opinion, coach, is it's going to anger Dev more to punish that man <laughs> and just easily beat him because that ain't do nothing but add fuel to the fire, in my opinion. I think so, too. I think so, too. I think um, Devin Haney... So that is, wasn't a smart move. Devin Haney, uh, G5, is the type of person, the fighter to me, it seems like he fight. He does fight with a chip on his shoulder because he's always getting criticized for his dad doing a lot of talking on social media, him having a dad in his life. And people not giving him the respect that he feel like he should have. So he does seem like he fights with a chip on his shoulder. He doesn't have a killer instinct to stop his opponents, but he does fight with a chip. I, I do see that. So, so I agree with you on that. Yeah, that's my call, Coach. You have a good one. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yes, sir, man. Shout out to G5. Bro, stand up, fam. Shout out to G5, man. Yeah, I, you know, I kind of I agree with that. I agree with that. You know what I mean? I think I think that's what I think, too. I, I You know, I, I can see that. I can see that. I think that um I think Devin Haney gonna punish him. I think he's gonna punish him. You know, he's just gonna frustrate him. Um call him, what's your name? What you call him from? Creed Boxing, coach calling from Louisiana. Creed Boxing from Louisiana. Talk to me, fam. Man, what's up, coach? The shit flowing through, that was some dad shit. <laughs> so to me, coach, it's like Floyd, what Floyd did was it helped bring more than a tank fight also, so I think it was a chess move, mm -hmm. you know? But for Ryan, Ryan, Ryan the boot that motherfucker too, because after David, after David pressed him at the press conference about him being on dope, mm -hmm. looked like he was going to have a mental breakdown. Yeah. So he had to find something to redeem himself, you know? So it, it I, I think Devin going to, I think Devin going to knock Ryan out, coach. You think he gonna knock him out? That ain't that ain't that ain't um Devin Haney's style though. Like like um, uh, we, if you look at his last fight, right? Regis Progray was clearly wobbling from the jab and buckling, mm -hmm. and 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 Dev did not go for the kill to stop him. Irregardless of what his father said, told him in the corner, it's up to the fighter right. to decide. You know what? No, I'm finna go for the kill and get this dude out of there. But he didn't do it, so. I can see a situation to where Devin Haney does the exact same thing. Don't want to take a chance. Don't want to take a risk because, uh, you know, you know, because, because to get some ass, you got to bring some ass. And he, you know, he's a safety first type fighter. I just want to do enough just to clearly beat you and go from there. Um, in order for him to stop Ryan Garcia, I think he's going to have to change his mentality, so to speak. What, what you think about that, fam? Are you out and you absolutely right too, but I'm thinking I'm thinking of on, on the more personal level. You see I me? Mean? I think I think Ryan has touched something in Devin that we none of us have seen. Because that that clearly got to Devin. Yeah. It clearly did because they showed that a minute and a half clip on the thirty minute sparring tape now. All the interviews I've been watching, everybody that was there was like, That's not it. Devin touched Devin touched tank up. 
You know? Mm-hmm. So I, I hope we see the rest of the the rest of the clip. So uh, you know, Devin can kinda redeem himself. I just don't like the the the, the highlight reel, kick a man while he down type shit. I just hope it was an even it, it get back on even plans here. You know what I'm saying, Coach? But that's my call, baby. Hey man, shout out to man Creed Boss in Louisiana, man. Stand up. Hey, see this the thing though, right? Hey, this this another this this another thing too. Floyd Mayweather. This falls on, um, like I said before, see, this this is the guy that this falls on. Shout out to Gregory Williams for dropping that quarter of a dub. He said, obviously, some of these fans can't stay focused on the topic <laughs> on the topic at hand. True, true, true. <laughs> hey, shout out to the Martin. He said, it's good, coach. He said, we having plenty of fun without Bill. Yeah, I mean, I just, you, know, you guys know me, man. If I say something, you know, I bet 1,000. I keep my word, you know what I mean? So, shout out to Michael Foy. Hey, okay. Dropping that half a dub. He said the first press conference, Bill was talking, and Dale tried to take the mic from Bill. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Carla, hold on. He tried to take the mic from Bill, and Bill pulled the mic back. Eventually, he gave it to Dale, though. I was like, hell no. I mean, Bill Haney likes the spotlight, you know? Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People pimping, pimping, sharp as razor blades. Bill Haney like the spotlight. He's Diddy. He like, like, um, um, like, um, 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 Bill, uh, uh, Devin Haney is Mace and, uh, and, 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 and Bill Haney is Diddy. All in, all in the videos. You know what I mean? Mace, Mace in there doing his thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? You know, you know, me and Puff, me and Puff, and Puff on in there. Take that, take that, take that. Like the camera on Mace, right? Puff don't jump in there. You know what I mean? He doing this, he doing this thing. You know, like, like that, that's what it is, right? And then, and, and, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. I heard, I heard, I heard back in the bad boy days when doggone, when doggone, um, when, when Diddy, when Diddy, uh, like a, a rapper will write their verse, Mesa write his verse. Diddy will come on there and say, take that, take that, take that. And he won 50% of your publishing just for saying that. True, true, true. Nigga, I wrote, I wrote everything on this verse. You said, take that, take that, take that. And you want 50% of the publishing? Um, call her, what's your name? Where you call her from? Sheila from Cali. Sheila from Cali, talk to me. Hey, coach, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Um, I don't know. I would just, I don't want to re- regurgitate what everybody's saying. I, we, we've all seen a clip. It's a hot topic on all the channels and I'm looking at it. And yes, it uh, was clipped and whatnot. Um, but AB wasn't lying though. Uh, he was, you know, more powerful than Devin and Devin was 16, 17 granted. But do you think I'm asking you as I've looked at all the reels and I've looked, you know, looked at things, you know, try to be a uh, subjective. Um, do you think that Devin could handle Tank's power, even at, even though he's older, he may be older and more uh, accomplished now? Do you think that he can handle that power? Um, it, it's not well in boxing. It's not necessarily about handling the power. It's about what type of strategy that you're going to employ to where you can take away your opponent's um, um, weapon of choice. So you know you can get in there and, and swim and not get wet. You know, um, and now if he gets <laughs> and now if he gets hit. With, That's uh, the goal, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If he if he gets hit, you know, maybe he can take it. You know, as long as you don't take too many, as long as you don't get hit with a shot that you don't see or something of that sort. So, I mean, the only way that we would know they would have to fight each other. And, I know, you know and that's so, what I would love to see. You know, all this we're all guessing, and this was how many years ago? I mean, seven years ago. And no, he was so much smaller than Tank at that nine, time. That was nine Look years how he's ago. gotten bigger. He, he's progressed. If he was 16, if he was 16, what time And was he a pro at that time? Right? Um, I don't I don't remember to be. I don't think he was. Okay, I think he became pro at 17. I'm not sure cuz I don't know all, you know, all the ins and outs, but he was a, he looked young, but he did, you know, but he stood his ground, you know, he, I mean, I want to say stand his ground, but he he held up. But my thing is if um somebody takes it to him like Tank, what do you think he can he withstand that? Cuz Tank was taking it to him. Whereas I didn't see other opponents maybe taking it to him like Tank did. Mm. It, what say you? Um, it's it's a sparring footage of, of a minute and forty second sparring footage. So um, it was edited. You know, it was it was a highlight reel for Tank Davis to make Devin Haney look bad. That's what it was. So I can't if they spar for 30, 40 minutes. 
I can't, you know, you know, he he took he, the the um the little short clip that I saw, he was getting hit with some hell of a shots and he was taking them. Yeah. He was taking them. So yeah. you know, I can't, mm -hmm. you know, that's like if I, that's like if you get in a fight with somebody and I show highlights of the of the woman punching you in the jaw and hitting you here and hitting you there and get my ass whooped. <laughs> yeah, you know, and I, I and I show a minute clip of that, but you and I the, know. You, you and the you and the lady fought for 10 minutes and you beat the shit yeah. out of her but i'm only showing the licks that she got in i mean it's kind of hard to tell that so so um i guess i'm, I'm learning this i'm learning a lot from your channel how long is a, a typical sparring session i know he, this is a dog house mind you but how long do you think it is the tape was i don't know i mean i heard it was 40 minutes i heard it was 30 minutes dog house what i'm hearing is you keep boxing until someone quits that's what I heard that the, right. um, the rules are mm -hmm. and Mayweather's gym doghouse, you know, you until he quit. So that's what I heard. I don't know. I've heard several different things. So I really don't know mm -hmm. if, if, you know, I can, I can, I can ask, I ask somebody who's close to the situation. Bill doesn't seem like he's coming on. Yeah. So. Cause I'm, I'm just curious to know uh, like how big of an excerpt was that? I mean, we, we did, I wish we could have seen the whole thing yeah. and I kind of wish, I don't want to be mean here, but I wish AB hadn't jumped in. You know, maybe so we could just have, you know, seen if that actually was the case. If he was just like, I quit or I'm down and tank backed up. I mean, just so we would have known. Mm -hmm. And then AB did pay, uh, I guess, words, you know, the grapevine. I don't know. But um, he said that AB did pay uh, Haney because um, I guess Devin made it all the way through. So he ended up paying. AB lost money on that. Do you understand what I'm saying? AB paid. Because they had a yeah. bet, a side no, bet no, going. No, no, they, they, they had a bet who was going to win the sparring match. AB paid because Tank Davis lost. That, that's that's what you said. Oh, because Tank Davis lost. Yeah, yeah. Well, that. Well, I mean, what what were they? What were they, What else would they be betting on? Oh, because AB jumped in to stop it. I yeah. guess I'm confused. I thought AB jumped jumped in to stop Dad from getting pulverized. I mean, he did do so that. I guess I, I'm, he, yeah, he did. So this is the story. Just in case you don't know, there was a bet that Devin Haney would beat Tank Davis. There was a bet that Tank Davis would beat Devin Haney. Um, and they okay. bet it, and money was betted. So, according to Doghouse rules, whoever quits first loses the bet. Devin, uh, okay. Tank Davis quit, according to oh, what Bill Haney said. So, this is how Bill Haney won the money. That's that's what happened. For one minute. Oh, okay. Thank you for clarifying that. Okay, I was just I wish we could sell the whole tape though. You know, like Minute Society, where's the tape? Let's see the tape. All right. I wish we could have seen it all, but um. I mean, it was seven years ago. You know, I mean, let, let's see. I want them to get in and fight each other. Um, I think Tate might have might come up on top, but that's just my opinion. All right. So Thank I'm you for taking my call, Coach. All right. Hey, man, let's give everybody that's here a round of applause, man. Shout out to everybody. Well, we got we got about yeah, we got about ten minutes. We got about ten more minutes. Uh, shout out to shout out to um, again to me to me this backfire in my opinion. You know what I mean? It's back kind of backfired in my opinion. Um, um, it still has no bearing on you know Ryan Garcia beating Devin Haney. You know, and again, I, again, some people say that Ryan Garcia is acting. Um, call it, hold on. The way he's been acting on stage, he's really not on anything. Um, I, so I have two questions. If he's acting, shout out to Stephen X. He say on uh, Ryan just dropped the track. Can't make this stuff up. He just dropped the track. Um, if he's acting, then like, what's the point? You know, so it is what it is. Um, call what's your name? You call it from? Yeah, the trillion dollar dreams out of Detroit. Trillion dollar dreams out of Detroit. Talk to me. Hey man, I think it's brilliant what Ryan is doing. I'm glad he dropped that that video. Um, I think it's hyping up the fight more. It's got the world buzzing. It's even it's even not taking that Tank and uh, Devin, depending on the outcome of these fights, because Tank got Frank and. They've got uh, got uh, Garcia. Depending on how, these, they got to fight. I mean, they have to fight at this point. Um, that sparring footage showed me a couple things. Even though it's old, nine years ago, it showed me that Devin can handle Tank's power, and it showed me Tank know how to cut the ring off. Yeah, so it showed me up. two different things. I was I wasn't really too into the. Uh, I, I know Devin was a little younger. They clipped it up real good, so. Uh, it, 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 it's good. I think it's good for boxing. I think it's good for the promotion of both fights. The future fight with uh, Haney and Tank. It's good that Ryan did it. It's going to beef up his fight. I think it's overall just a good thing. Got the boxing world buzzing, man. That's All my right. call. I ain't got All too right, much salute, to fam.
Um, Dollar Bill, uh, Bill Haney's in the building, guys. Let's give, give Bill Haney a round of applause. Hey. Dollar Bill, what the lit read, fam? Hey, listen. Shout out to True Media. You know what I mean? If this ain't true, I don't know what you can do. Listen, I didn't, I didn't you know, I didn't pulled up. Um, you know, and I'm here, baby. I'm just here. Let me just put, I'm going to take the thing off because I want to make sure they see that it was Trill Bill that wasn't Dollar Bill. Okay. All right, so Bill, I got some questions for you. Come on, King. Bless All right, let, 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 okay, let me ask you this here. Um, we we uh, we did see the press conference yesterday with you know Dev Dev, Dev Dollars, Ryan Garcia saw the banter between you and the dad and stuff like that. Um, question I have the question I have with this here, you know Ryan Garcia said that we've been hearing you and Floyd going back and forth on uh, where you going at. That, before we do that, we got to shout out the Shea Butter team, the Shea Butter family. Um, you know, uh, Jurgens Shea Butter Cream. Uh, you know. They're doing a wonderful job, and we call them the Shea Butter team, the Garcia family. Uh, All right. All right, so let me ask you this here. How did this footage get released, did this um, this edited clip? Who released it? Yes, ma'am. So you're interested in the kid Ricky. Oh, okay, hold on one second. One second. All right, all right. Sorry. All right, guys. All right, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me see what's up. Yeah, I got some good questions here, boy. Y'all gonna love y'all gonna love these questions. Y'all gonna love these questions here, boy. I got I got questions that the people want to know. People want answers to. Well, shout out to uh shout out to um uh, Tila. What'd you say, Tila? You say he is so unprofessional. Hey man, I mean it is what it is. Um, shout out to Kurt. What's going on, fam? Go go junkie. He say um Bill ain't coming back. No. I will see. Shout out to um Fat Joe. Shout out to um Doghouse. Hey, what did he say? He said he stole your shea butter to him, coach. Oh, let, let's see what that, I might want to answer a call. I might want to answer a call. Ain't no telling when he coming back. If ain't no telling when he coming back. Uh, call him. What's your name? Where you calling from? Hello. Okay. Let me, uh, yeah, you got to call back, man. Um, Bill, okay. what's going? Bill, Bill, you back? Yes, I'm here. All right, listen. How did Ryan Garcia get that get that sparring footage? Uh, well, he said he said the Floyd gave it to him, right? Right. Well, I heard him say Floyd showed me the footage. I didn't. I didn't hear him say that Floyd well, gave it to him. As much clarity to the situation because, you know what I mean. No longer or is someone you know throwing throwing the rocks and hiding their hands. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So we wanted to make sure that we knew. Uh, what it was so yeah that's Floyd that's yeah. definitely Floyd absolutely yeah. well, I, I asked Ryan on on the stage I said well did you see the part where we got paid where where tank stopped he said no I didn't see that and then the next minute I said okay well you didn't see that part and then the next minute they they show a tape and it doesn't show that part it just shows what he said so shout out to uh to him I mean because at least he wasn't lying Okay, um, um, Bill. A lot of people are concerned about Devin, not Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia's. Um, he he looked kind of lethargic, sweating. Looked like he was on something. Um, some say that he was probably acting. He said he was trolling. And if he was acting, he 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 he, he deserves an Oscar because he's doing a great job. Do you think that you personally, you and Devin Haney, you and your son, do you think that Ryan Garcia is on something? Um. Yeah, I think that he's. He's probably, you know, really. When I, well, let, me, let me clarify. When I say on something, meaning like drugs. No. Some no, kind of substance. No drugs. No, no. I don't believe he's on drugs at all. I believe that he's suffering, surviving Floyd Mayweather. Mm. Okay, surviving Floyd Mayweather. Okay, a lot of people think that, hey, this guy doesn't look right. He may pull out of the fight. Have you heard anything about there would be a backup plan with Bar with um, Barbosa yes, if, if Devin Haney decide if Ryan Garcia pulls out of the fight? Bill, are you there? Yeah. Yes. 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 One second. One second. All right. Bill is um. Uh, you know. Um. Uh, okay. Let me see. We look like we got a cash out. Let me read the cash out. 
I got questions, guys. I'm trying to answer. I'm trying to ask the questions, guys. But um, oh, let me see. Let me read the cash app. Shout out to, shout out to Kermit. Hey, okay. I'm dropping that half a dub on your boy. Shout out to Kermit. What you say, fam? Kermit says, um, where's the Ryan Dale spawn video? Okay. Um, I hey, think that. Yeah. So, so obviously, like I said, um, when you go to, when you go to a guy, I mean especially being in the sport and you you think that you did you, did, to... did you hear the question that i asked are What's you answering that? the question okay. i asked i asked um do you think that ryan garcia is on something you said no i mean I, to clarify i mean drugs you said no and i said so a lot of people feel that ryan garcia is going to pull out of the fight if so do you know anything about barbosa being the being plan b or the backup just in case ryan pulls out of the fight well it's something I, did, I did know i didn't know that you know what i mean one thing that i knew is when i got up on the stage I was sitting next to Dev, mm -hmm. and and I'm looking over there at Ryan and Oscar and everything on the left, dummy, you know what I mean, was silk sheets and money. Mm -hmm. And on the right of me was a hungry and determined young man, focused young man that got up soon as he looked at me. And, you know, I had that energy. I'm like, I didn't know what he was, why, you know, why is he, he there? You know what I mean? And because I looked over on the side, and I, I don't see nobody but him over here on this side, you know? And and sure enough, he walked up and said uh, said what he said, that uh, if somebody pulled out, and then he sat back in the seat. And what he had said was that while we're doing what we're doing to promote the fight, he's been grinding while, you know what I mean? Uh, um, while... We're, we're doing something that a hungry and determined fighter um, is sitting there and saying he wants. So I think that that would put or should put some pressure on Ryan Garcia, uh, you know, and um, Devin Haney to know that it's somebody on that stage that's ready to take that slot. And um, he doesn't care which way. He didn't care which way it went. Bill, we've heard in the past that Floyd Mayweather, had they had several sparring sessions. You know, not just Devin and, 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 and uh, Tank. But just other fighters as well in the past. You know, why do you feel that Floyd Mayweather released this um release an edited version of this sparring footage? Um, I think it's it, it's now become where he's he's trying to do his best to protect his brand and stay relevant in an era that is no longer his. Um, you know, and that's just the way it goes, you know. It came it, around, he was the he was the young guy, he was the young lion at one time. You know what I mean? Um he didn't tore down the money. He didn't did what he's supposed to do. He's no longer fighting. So, um, you know, and guess what? Let me just say this. Hey, listen, groupy ass, listen. Hey, you groupy ass fans for, uh, and distractors for uh, whoever you might be imposing as that say that you'd prefer to hear it from no other than Floyd Mayweather. That's not a trainer, a coach, or nothing with the fighters. You want to hear it from Bob Arum. You want to hear it from Eddie Hearn. You don't want to hear it from the person that's in the trenches with the fighter that's so enthusiastic and so um, entrenched with the work that you're full of life and, and you want to come on and say it on a platform like True Media. Do you not want that? Do you want the information from someone maybe that doesn't even go to the gym? Maybe someone that doesn't know the, the, the fighter's uh, habits and, and their, uh, their lifestyle. You know what I mean? That they're doing. So when you see me, you see Dev just came out the gym. You see me, you, you see a father, I'm, you, you know, you see a guy that's a, a trainer and a coach, but also you see a father that's happy about what he's doing. So right. sometimes when you see a promoter, I mean, and the fighter is like, damn, well, he didn't say that I was ready. He didn't say because he might have a different agenda. So uh, I think that Mayweather has um, is suffering from what he said before that uh, he went through. You know, mm -hmm. now he's becoming he he was part of the the oppression. Now he's becoming the oppressor. The oppressor. I got you. Um, is there a financial penalty if Ryan Garcia pulls out of this fight? Um, it's definitely a financial penalty in terms of uh, the seat that the seat that matters. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The seat that matters with with um, a network like the Zone. Um, who's um who's still in business right now and and promoting the fight when a lot of the same people that's been laughing at me right and be talking mm -hmm. 
know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, sir. Um, now, DAZN being a major outlet in the business, right? Being one of the ones that's still standing and putting on some shows and shit, right? And right. if I would listen to them, if I would listen to, to them, then we probably wouldn't be where we be where we are, and we'd be in, in, in the position that where some of them are of uncertainty. Um, so, you know, I, I like to just say that um, it's the time now to crown Dev and not down it. I understand. So, um, um, is there drug testing for this fight, Bill? Uh, is there drug testing for this fight? Bottle testing? All right, uh, Bill just fell off. We got to wait for him to get back on, man. We got to wait for him to get back on. Um, and shout out to Bill Haney. I think um, I think Bill Haney, somebody said Bill Haney's at the hospital. So um, it, 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 that that would explain everything what's going on. But I do want to know, is there a bottle testing here you know, for this fight? Shout out to uh, Stephen X. Salute to you, fam. Um, Jaden said, bro, Floyd was my favorite fighter, but he just don't want to let it go. Um, again, everything is coming from Floyd you know, because... If Floyd is the only one that had this had this um footage, then he is the one that, you know, released it. You get what I'm saying? Um, Big Star said yes, Vada testing has started. Okay, cool. So for me, for me, that would well, I don't know when it started. I want to get some clarity from Bill Haney. But for me, if Vada testing has started, then that clears up everything about Ryan Garcia being on drugs. There's no way he's been there's no way he's on drugs when there's a financial penalty if he pulls out of this fight. One. And two, um, if he gets popped with anything in his system, he's going to mess up the bag. I saw a tweet or an article from Oscar De La Hoya that I retweeted on, on my, on my, uh, on my uh, private profile on Twitter. Well, I think an uh, article, someone said, well, Oscar said that Ryan Garcia is going to get paid upwards of $30 million for this fight. So maybe that's the projection. You know, where, where they think that the projected uh, pay-per-view sales are going to be at. If that's the case, then that's a lot of money that he's messing up. You get what I'm saying? If that's the case, you know, so Sheila said, Cole, do you think Florida is the mastermind? I mean, if you've been listening to the show, Sheila, I said that. I said, I think, you know, um, if, if, if just think about it. If Floyd Mayweather is the one that had the, um, had the sparring footage, the only way that that footage could have, could have gotten out the way we can see it, he had to be the one to release it. That's what, that's what I've been saying. It came from Floyd. I'm sorry at the crunch time. He say Ryan not on drugs. People can't be, um, be them without drugs involved. Okay. Okay. Uh, some in November say, Coach, do you have the red phone, bad phone speed dial? Um, all right, let me go and accept calls. I mean, Bill Haney fell off, so, I mean, it is what it is. He fell off, so. Uh, phone lines over, man, 530-494-9636. Anybody want to call the show, y'all can. I don't know if Bill Haney is going to um, come back on. Maybe I can, maybe, let me call him and see. I don't know, maybe I can call him and see. You know what I mean? Maybe we can do a phone call. Um, maybe we can do a phone call. Let's see, hold on. We have other cash apps that I have to get to. We have other cash apps. That was Kermit. Um, shout out to Kermit again. Dropping that, dropping that half a dub. He said nine years ago, who gives a he's who gives a fuck? He said Devin ain't the same guy. Shout out to Kermit. Shout out to uh shout out to T Seals from the ATL. Cash app. He says salute, coach. Salute to you, fam, T Seals. Shout out to T Seals again. He says, salute coach again. Um, oh, shit. What the hell is going on? Damn, I be hating. I be getting all these notifications, man. Um, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. All right, Bill Haynes popped back on. So let's see. Crazy. Hey, Bill, do you want me to call you? It'd be better for me to call you, right? Um, Let me just yeah. call you. Why all do right. you think it'd be better? No, no. I'll talk on, I'll talk on here. Okay, cool, okay. cool. All right, Bill. Um. Bill, okay, so you said is there vital is there vital testing for this fight? Yes. Okay, that's vital testing. All right, cool. Um, how long ago did this sparring match happen that they released on that they that uh, that's, that was leaked by Floyd Mayweather? Um, Devin was sixteen, and he's and he's he's going on twenty six now. So, a decade ago. A decade ago, and how old was Saint Davis? Oh, I don't know. Whatever Devin, whatever he is, more than what Devin is. I think oh, Tank, Tank, Tank is 29 years old. He'll be 30 in November. Okay. And De so, and that's so four he, years in. Four years. Yep. Four years. Okay, okay. Cool. Um, 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 so they just, so they, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Bill. No, I mean, you know, it. 
you got a chance to see um, that part. And the thing that I told everyone before, I said, wow, everybody is talking about these numbers and all this other shit. I, I always said that Devin is great for anybody as a dance partner. And people know what they they created fake narratives and, and talked about what they could do and what they done. And Adrian Broner said that Devin's eyes was in the back of his head and he was slumped over and he was, mm -hmm. I mean, and, and then was lies. You know what I'm saying? In fact, in fact, in fact, if you put it on there, both me and you know that there's so many transitions and cuts in that motherfucker within yeah. one minute and 40 to keep yeah. it 100% 100 percent gully if you take if you take one minute and 40 and you do more than two to three cuts you creating now just a highlight of the situation instead of um actually that's exactly what it was huh yeah no, that's exactly what it was, it was like a highlight reel it was of, a of, reel. Of, of tank yeah that's what it was yeah. it, was, it was a highlight reel and that's respected if you're gonna shoot the highlight reel you know what i mean but if you're going to say that you're the face of boxing and you're shooting out highlight reels instead of shooting out contracts, then it's something wrong there. You know what I mean? And yeah. and, and we said that that you playing, you know, oh boy, you playing with the game and you playing with a lot of big money, a lot of people's time and respect by playing these games, these keep away games. And you think that it's cool. We think he can get away with it, right? But you got platforms like this, right? like true media and other platforms. And I always told y'all, I said, all right, well, y'all think that it, it's, that I'm crazy. But when we get to the position where um, they, it, they won't be able to deny us. What, um, um, you know, what, what, what you think provoked this of, of Floyd leaking this footage? Is it, is it the banter that you and him are having going back and forth online? You're saying that, Hey man, Floyd, uh, Floyd, um, Dev retired Floyd, um, you know, like what provoked this? What made Floyd say, I'm going to drop this footage? It doesn't, because Dev sparred Floyd, I mean, Tank at 16, he sparred him, him at 14 too. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's even more legendary that, that Dev and I drove from California in a sprinter van to Upton Gym, right? They say it's, it's, it's like that, like that, right? Well, my kid was up there in four, at 14 in there with Another guy that y'all said is like that, like that. I mean, so I said, okay, this was before y'all knew who he was and did all that. So we've been in there. And then at 16, we didn't been in there. I don't say what he isn't. I just said that he turned a bunch of real thoroughbred fans into, I mean, somebody else got to call him that because I don't want to be, but the narratives and the shit that they saying for you to be a dance partner is crazy. You know what I mean? Now, when you say narratives, what, what they be saying? Who was the they are you referring to? I'm referring to I'm I'm referring to Leonard Ellaby, and um, you know the distractors that go go along with him. You know I'm, I know I know Floyd. He's pulling the strings behind the scenes, and I've been knew it, right? But you take a Ryan Garcia to come out and to bring it out. You know, so I said, well, man, don't stay back there. You know what I mean? Don't hang back there. Come on from back there. So he threw a rock with the sparring footage. He didn't care nothing about that, man. That shit don't mean nothing. Come from behind that curtain, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on out. Would you would you would you tell Devin Haney when this fight happens, would you tell Devin Haney to go for the knockout in this fight? Like um Dev seemed like he was kind of upset, you know, yesterday. Would you tell him to I go for the say, knockout? I would say if, I would say, Floyd, if you were gonna exhibition or spar anybody, put out the tapes of him and Dev. Or, you know, get in the ring with Devin after this. Or knock it off, man. Go kick back, man, and, you, and you, you know, expensive outfits and, and have a great time. You know what I mean? But it's the Devin Haney era right now. And it, as far as a knockout goes, um, you know, if it comes, it comes. But one thing that I will say is, do you want to see a fight? I mean, if now you see, okay, because this is the one thing coach you'll see is that before this they said that if we get hit with anything we don't deserve the tank fight because it would be a massacre that if tank hits you one time so now they you see that Devin got a chin because they put up the highlight tape 
Mm. So after the highlight tape, you see y'all highlight tape. They they highlight tape. Devin is sitting on the edge of the apron, being crowned the next Floyd Mayweather by his dad himself. And Floyd sitting there, and Floyd saying what the rules were in the doghouse. Now, I'm just saying this. Now, this this another thing is super tough guys and everybody in the chat and all that. Well, why would you have a doghouse and doghouse rules if the rules don't apply? Why do every time Devin get Devin is involved in, they move the goalpost? The goal it was go till you stop. So you never hear me saying nothing. The only time you're going to hear what 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 uh, A B said happened is when he got in the ring, I got in the ring. And I told him, get, get your ass out the ring. What are you doing? This here is go to you. Go. This is not get some points and do all this shit. This is going to be a long way going. Don't get hit with nothing big up in this motherfucker there. I don't care nothing about that. All that, that's not nothing. Don't get hit with nothing big. Oh, oh boy, be gassing out. And once, once he did all that shit that he did, and everybody, ooh, and I, it's over with. I mean, so the, I've, I've, I've never, but I've never said that he's not a good fighter. I've never advised anybody else to do what Devin did at 16 years old with him. I don't advise people to do that. You know what I mean? But I'm saying there's something special about Dev, and I'll say, let him work. Come on, man, let him relax. I, right I, now, I, no, no, wait, wait, wait. One last thing. Pull it up, and let's take a look at it, and let's let's take it frame by frame and count the shots within this Tank's highlight film. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Um, but what I, I want to get these few questions out of the way before we do it. Um, it seemed like that the the the, the press conference got personal. It's very uh, much personal. Yeah. So 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 what is it? What is it that what is it that um, Ryan Garcia's father is upset with you about? And what is it that that made Devin Haney upset about you know um, about what you guys said? You was well, he, he was looking at well, well, he was looking at my files for something, and I looked in his files, and I found out that he was a proud member of the Shay Toupee team. So you was talking about his hair, his toupee? Yes. Did you know it? It looks it looks amazing. Okay, so what did, did Devin that? Haney get what did Devin Haney get upset about um from Ryan Garcia's Ooh. dad? Well I, listen, I made a reference to his hair, right? And he you know, because he be clean, he be talking, yeah Bill, sit down, Bill. Yeah, you look like Don King, right? Mm -hmm. You're not the Don King. So I'm, I did a little bit of check because you were talking about Don King because of my hair. But, I mean, I be talking fast for the guys that's moving slow. You know what I'm saying? It just take them a minute to catch up. Mm -hmm. first to me is Don King right in your hair. You got a new Don King. And all. Shut up. That was at the first person. So I was like, this nigga's talking about my hair because I look like Don. Talking about Don King with the hair. So yeah, he said was, so 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 he said you was a nappy headed coach. Um yeah, what, so that's what they, I said. He said he was, so he said that I was a nappy headed, yeah, I was a nappy headed nigga, right? And I said He said nigga? He, he no, said you was a nappy headed nigga? Man, that's what he mainly had said. You know he was saying that, coach. Come on, knock it off. You know what I'm saying? I mean he wasn't you know, he didn't say it, but he but I'm saying this, I got I got thick skin. No, he was out of pocket. Oh, that's how you took it. I got how I took it. That's I got how you. I took yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So I said in front of everybody, and this is what made his wife mad, right? Is that I said that I found out that he was a member of the Shea Toupee team. Now, there's a couple other members part of that team too that they don't want to talk about. Why are they talking about my hair sticking up and it just looked like this because God made it look like this. I don't do nothing to it. I don't have no perm. I don't have no none of that. So I don't know what the man want me to do with my hair, man. Mm. I know. All right, his, so, hair his hair ain't real. Um, so which one? Which one is his hair ain't real, and my hair is nappy. What does his hair look like? It, it don't even grow. Bill, that, Bill, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening to this press conference, and um, it seemed like you know you guys. I don't both sides. Maybe or maybe your side or their side. Maybe it, it seemed like it, it can, you can take a racial angle in this. Uh, you know, I get it. I understand about each other's hair. But it also seems as though, you know, Ryan Garcia is, is a staunch Christian, so he say. You and Devin Haney are staunch Muslims, so he say. Fans are saying that neither one of you guys are showing the conduct of a Muslim nor a Christian. What say you about that? I said they're tank fans. <laughs> you say they tank fans, that's why they feel that way? Yes, that's why they're saying that. 
You don't think they have any validity to the conducts of of of, of the Haney's and as well as the Garcia's? Well, they, don't worship, they don't worship um Prophet Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him. They worship mm -hmm. Tank. They're Tank fans, and they're mm -hmm. distracted because this doesn't have anything with with uh, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't have anything to do with Prophet Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him, and it has nothing to do with Ryan. Um, saying that he's looking and calling for Jesus Christ and his that's his savior and all that man it has anything to do with that I'm a Muslim and I believe that in in heaven there will be um they won't just only be Muslims there will be others that are that are non-Muslims that are um you know what I mean a hundred percent a hundred percent believers in God so why why does tank name seems to always come up at these press conferences some way somehow ryan garcia and devin haney has a fight oh. coming up to fight each other april 20th but it's like you know, I I, know. listen if if you got the super bowl going on you know next year i mean they're gonna be talking about the chiefs i mean they was the former uh uh champion so you know that's probably why they're talking about it you know what i mean because he, he used to be he not now but it used to be so do you think that um you can use this angle because i sat back and i thought about it and i'm like man you know what man they could pretty much use this uh whatever floyd mayweather released this footage so we know that well i believe he released this footage in order to embarrass devin haney but it seems as though it's it's backfiring no, release the footage to help ryan garcia not to embarrass us to help him that's what he's trying to do it's a, it's been no i told you it's all been the whole thing has been trying to help ryan you know what I mean? Trying promote the to, fight? Huh? You say he's trying to help Ryan to promote this fight? He's trying to help Ryan to win the fight. Okay, well, if he's trying to help him to win the fight, why release the footage in public? That doesn't make sense. Because then that gives Ryan the confidence that he needs. Ryan, he gave Ryan the footage to do whatever he wanted to do with it. He could have okay. gotten it and said, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to sit on it. But he also got a chance to look at it and say, okay, is this something that I can do? Is this something, you know what I mean? What is, what is, um, you know, that was flaws. And once you looked at it, he, of course, once you give it to a man, you can't tell a man what to do with something that then becomes his. Once he gave it to him, it was his to do whatever he wanted to do with it. Right. But why did, why did Floyd give it to him? He, he, he hasn't done that before in the past. Well, he's doing that because he wants to help Brian Garcia and team Garcia. I know Man. it's hard to believe. No, 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 him out. No, you got no, him, him out. No, what I'm saying is, it seemed like he's trying to embarrass y'all. Like, you know, embarrassing. That's not embarrassing because it's really embarrassing to you that if you can't not convince the people that they want to see the fight by showing us more footage. I mean, clearly, the people that follow us and that represent us are a lot more intelligent than that. And right. I'm hoping that the people that, that that doesn't lose the taste or the thirst to see the fight. I think it and does the opposite in making people want to see, well, if you did that to him then, then we want to see it done in 2024. I agree with that. It, it, it does. Know? It does. It does create a level of intrigue. Assuming that you guys get by Ryan Garcia, because I know you're not looking past him. Assuming you get by Ryan Garcia, do you plan on still trying to make that tank fight, even though they're saying, no, Devin is too big? Or what what would be your plans after that? Or have you thought about it? Um, our first thing right now is Ryan Garcia. You know what I mean? Right. Um, handling this business with him. And then, of course, what what he what should be saying, right? Because he hasn't announced the fight with um who is he fighting? Um he's fighting Frank Martin. Okay, yeah. Well, that, well, that's what it's rumored that he's supposed to be fighting Frank okay. Martin in June. That's what I'm saying. Is, so it's a rumor, right? But the thing that kills me is that they say the people ask him what's happening with, with Deb, and they say um, three fights or some shit, right? Mm -hmm. I heard the, the coach of me said three fights. When actually being 100% up 100, you should say this is a great fight for Ryan to get back um you know in in contention and back for a fight this should cement Devin's victory as for the people wanting to see the fight you know what i mean i just think that it should be more of that kind of talk than the the other shit the other narratives that's being created 
So um, again, you know, you get by if you get by Ryan Garcia. I'm seeing an article that uh, that uh, that um, Oscar De La Hoya put out there. Say you guys are making a boatload of money. Say Ryan making like thirty million dollars or whatever for this fight. What what do you foresee the the projected? Do you guys have a projection on how many pay per views that you think you you'll sell? Are you looking at five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand? What would be a success from a number standpoint for the promotional companies involved and stuff like that, as well as the fighters? I don't know. I mean, I just it's humbly a lot for one, but I don't know. What does it feel like? You know, you you can never tell, inshallah, what the what the numbers are going to be. But what does it feel like? Does it feel like that we got half the buzz than that? Then that's six hundred thousand. You said five five hundred thousand to six hundred thousand. So that let's use that. Does does this fight feel like it has half the buzz? Because they did what one point two, mm-hmm. so that would mean that you would do six hundred thousand. Yeah, um, I, I you know what? I, after after yesterday, that video, that footage dropped of the sparring, the edited version of the sparring. Like, bro, Bill, you guys can milk the cow on this, man. Like, I think this right here is really going to take it, take it more than that. You might, it's a, you know, you might do a meal. I don't know. Um, especially if you guys like? go to what, is it, what does it feel like? Does it does it feel like anticipation it, it, for the fight? Is it is it big as anticipation for Ryan and Tank? I, f- I feel like I feel like it could be I feel like it could probably be a meal, especially now. If you um if you guys go the Twitch route, get with Kai Sinat, get with the uh the, the influencers in gaming, get with those guys. The very I told you the same thing that T- Tank and Ryan did in their fight, you and Ryan need to do the exact same goddamn thing. That's that's what I that's my suggestion. Because there's a blueprint for success already when he fought a big name in Tank Davis. Did you get what I'm saying? You can still follow that and see how it goes. And you can like you can you can milk this this sparring situation to to whatever. Because everybody's talking about it. You know, million dollars more to game podcast, probably maybe 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 want to talk about it or whatever. Like you can really, really create some serious buzz, get with those um gaming influences as well. That's what I see. It could no, it's, no, it's definitely an opportunity for a great fight between two super talented um, young men, um, you know what I mean, with a whole lot of um, history. So, you know, those that we can do, God willing, you know what I mean, in places that we can go to introduce and encourage people to, uh, you know, s- support their event, you know, it's all the merrier, you know what I mean? I don't know exactly what and where, but I know, you know, I mean, like from, like he did YG, uh, the 400 podcast yesterday, um, he did Sports Center yesterday. Um, you know, so you know, every day, you know what I mean, is um a different day, you know, to get do, out. And- do you do do you do you feel that it's a do you have like a me against the world mentality? Like you have Ryan Garcia fans don't like you for obvious reasons, you know, uh Floyd Mayweather fans, whatever, um, and then Tank Davis fans. Do you do you feel that it's a me against the world mentality with you and Dev? Look at my screen. Yeah, I see it. We started that first. We was that before we was anything. We the first ones to put that up. Dad, Dad put put us on his back. You know what I'm saying? The whole family, the the, the everything. Tell me a fighter that that say that. I know. I, I know you didn't see. I know you didn't see. Um. Uh, what was it? Uh, what's the move from Spurs? Everybody. To my three hundred. Detroit versus everybody. Yeah, Detroit versus everybody. Yeah, yeah. Detroit versus everybody. Well. You got, you got a guy right there that put it on his back and said, come on, put me against everybody. And we've been rocking that shit. You know what I'm saying? We rocked it so hard. Detroit versus everybody called us. Listen, they, so they called us and asked us for a check, right? Mm. You know what I'm saying? They said, give you a check for versus everybody. We're going, versus, we're, going, we're going against everybody, whether you say it or not. You know what I mean? So... That's why we don't probably the, the apparel or the shirts or anything like that. But it's been that's what I feel. That's it's been that movement from the very beginning, Coach. Well, when Ryan, when Ryan, when Ryan Garcia spoke about at the podium that he he drank and and, and uh, smoked marijuana, um, Devin Haney made a point to say, "Hey, we got kids that look up to us. You know, you're setting a bad example." Do you, you know, what was the issue on that? Because as soon as Devin Haney said that, it seemed like Ryan Garcia's mother said something, father said something. What was, uh, uh, what was going on there? Explain that to me. Um, I think it's um, some confusion going on the, um, on the way that they're going to market uh, the fight because Ryan is a master marketer. 
You know, right. he's a market, he's a marketing genius, but at the same time, he's 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 a boxer, a very dangerous boxer, posing as a TikToker, posing as you know what I mean, um, everything else, right? And mm -hmm. uh, and I think you know when you have that team and you you have such a tough task of doing those things and the antics that he does, um, it can be a little bit of confusion. So, um, you know, I think they told told. You know, it's been, yeah, it's been like probably some advice with Ryan to do this or not do that. But ultimately, they roll with, with him and they take the good with the bad. And on April the 20th, I expect a hungry and prepared Ryan based on um, his ability to choose good people around him. He has, he has um, Derek James, you know, future Hall of Fame uh, coach, you know, uh, trainer of the year in his ear. He also has Bernard Hopkins. You got Floyd Mayweather, and you got Oscar De La Hoya. So, I mean, we we take this shit very serious. Is Eddie Eddie Hearn is a part of this uh, promotion as well? Because I did. I, um, I'm asking, is he? Yeah. Well, Eddie told him that he thinks that Devin is going to win uh, on the stage. You know what I mean? He was trying to dap Eddie up. Eddie and and Devin have, you know what I mean, um, a different kind of relationship than than. Um, Brian and Eddie has because of the fights and the, and the stuff that they got a chance to do. Just like Ryan and Ryan and um, Oscar have a different relationship than what Devin and Oscar is developing because obviously this is our first fight working with him. So you know, do you um do you um um uh, do you feel that uh, Ryan Garcia is putting on the act? He seems different, Bill. I'm just oh, saying to me on the outside looking in. Man, listen, that's the act. That's an act. Why would an actor, why would an actor give you him and what you think is him, right? And the and the biggest movie of his his career, right? Mm -hmm. He's 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 an actor. And 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 what I said was on April the twentieth, it'll be a death of death to the way that you guys view him as 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 an actor. Right now, it's mm -hmm. a different ways, and people was going to say, "Oh, well, Bill, that sounds so cruel." I says, "Well, I said, well, why couldn't it be on April twentieth, the death of the way that you view uh, uh, you view Ryan Garcia as a TikToker? He now has an opportunity to face a two division champ, undisputed former undisputed champ, so on and so forth. So, if he's victorious, then he has an opportunity to kill every narrative about him." But also, if he show, if he doesn't show up, he kills anything that was good about him as far as being a boxer and having heart. You know what I mean? By not showing up, or we, he can, or he can show up on April twentieth and take it like a man. Bill, Bill, uh, what, what say you about the criticism that some people have? Um, and I've heard this even in my chat that Bill Haney is living his life vicariously through his son. Is there any validity to that? Yeah, they're tank fans. Tank fans. Yeah, he has a yeah. lot of them. Yeah. yeah. Definitely not big fans. <laughs> I mean, yeah, tank but, tank does have a he does have a big fan base. No, but I'm saying is that they're saying something while they're typing it, but they're also not typing something to say, you know what I mean? Um, hey guys, while I have this opportunity to type this, I would like you guys to come over and support someone that's in my family that's working really hard. Um, you know, and if you can come by and recognize it, you know, I really appreciate it. Right. So mm -hmm. they, if they're really tank fans, so they're not like real people that are going through real shit and appreciating, um, a father and a son that's working together or, you know, a father that has transitioned from the streets to corporate America and kicking ass. Yeah. You, cause y'all go up in there being somebody else. Mm -hmm. But you learn, listen, you learn that at your school you went to. Yeah, I learned you got to be yourself. You got one shot at it. So I, myself, they say, yeah, okay. They say, who was that out there? Oh, Bill, let him in. Let's see what he's talking about. Because you know that me and Devin is going to stand on business. Meaning, if we sign it, we're going we gonna to fulfill our part of it. You've never heard us into a disagreement contractually with anyone. Mm -hmm. A manager, a, a trainer, a, a promoter, a network. But you constantly hear these horror stories in boxing. Well, I mean, who's doing it? 
I mean, you know, what's what's going on? It wasn't a time for a breath of fresh air to come through like Devin Haney. Bill, what have you heard about the situation that's going on with the PBC? Well, I, I haven't heard anything because I'm, I haven't been looking because I'm in a situation right now with the zone and, um, you know, a the zone and, and, and golden boy and Eddie Hearn. Um, it, it see, it, it does seem that, do you feel that I, I know when I spoke with you, spoke with you before you talk about the father son dynamic between you and Dave and you're fighting a narrative to where it seems like that you got one group of people is like, you know, they're promoting the street shit, the nigga shit. And you and Dale trying to promote the um the positive. Am I correct in that assessment and what you told no, me? They're not, no, they're not. They're not promoting the nigga shit, the street shit, because they're not really street niggas. And and when you when you talk about you not really a street nigga and you trying to promote street niggas, I don't know what kind of nigga you are. You an imposter nigga. You're not a nigga that's a real nigga because you're not a real nigga by saying nothing like that. Street niggas don't look like that. Street niggas don't look like that. You already realized you had fucked up. So it's like this traffic right here. You go in the wrong direction and saying it's going to work, still come back and you watching everybody. They go and you're doing the right, mad as a motherfucker because you got to go this way to come back that way, man. Knock it off, man. All right, so Bill, um, I know I know you're driving home. I'm going to wrap it. I, I can, I can barely hear you. you breaking up. You was breaking up. You heard me, Bill? Bill, can you hear me? All right, Bill fell off, guys. Um, he was breaking up. He was breaking up real bad. So I'm like, man, he probably he's driving. I think I think he was at the hospital. He's driving home from the hospital. Um, I had a couple of more questions for him, but um, I'm gonna drop the phone lines. What you say? You say cricket wild is um hitting different. No, um, he's driving and streaming. So you know when you hit these different spots, you know. He's not in a good. He's not in a good area the way he has a good reception. That's why I said, do you want to just do a call in? Because because if we call in, he can put it on speakerphone. It'll just be a clear. It'll be a clear audio versus trying to do video. You get what I'm saying? True, true, true. That's what it is. You get what I'm saying? So you know you have you, know, have, you have you ever tried to FaceTime somebody and you driving and you hit a bad area? The audio, the video go to breaking up and stuff. That's why I just wanted to do a call in. We do a call in and it'll be a whole lot better. Um, shout out to Jamie from New York, man. Let's give everybody that's here a round of applause. Um, Big Ben say Devin's pops put a lot of cream on his tacos. Okay, I don't know what you mean by that. Um, shout out to Martin King Boston. He said, Bill, don't stop training, Dev. He said, Bill, don't stop training, Devin promoting. Okay, cool. I, I got you, I got you, I got you. Um, let's give everybody a round of, um, hit him with the hug and bell right quick. Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People pimping, pimping, sharp as razor blades. Call him, what's your name? Where you calling from? Your last call. Hey, what's up, Coach? It's Jerry. Jerry, what's talk to me? Yeah, man. Uh, that footage was edited, only showing Tank's work. Didn't show Devin. Tank Davis used a lot of energy during that. And what I assume may have happened, because Bill had said repeatedly that they stopped Tank and got the bag and got the money, and so Tank probably gassed himself out. And uh, Haney ate his lunch after that. One-sided footage people shouldn't get too worked up about. But what I would also say is a couple of things, and I'll make it quick. One, Bill Haney brought brought that man's hairpiece into the conversation, and that's an embarrassing thing to reveal about somebody. So the crack that he made back about his hair being nappy, hey, that's just how it goes, man. If you're going, if you're going to get personal and you're going to bring something like that into it, then be prepared to get something back. Number two, Devin Haney, I don't see two videos. Devin Haney saying, I'll never lose to a white boy. If I beat, if I fight a white boy 10 times, I'll beat a white boy 10 times. Yet, as soon as Devin, Ryan's father made that comment about his, his dad's nappy hair, he immediately went to the race card. That's a bit hypocritical. And thirdly, Ryan admitting that he smokes weed and drinks, and Haney saying, well, you know, we're supposed to be setting an example. If I'm not mistaken, Devin Haney himself a couple months ago got caught illegally carrying a firearm. 
So you're talking about the hypocrisies, you know, the hypocrisies in the yeah that that's and 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 that's what I asked Bill. I say you know you have some critics out there that say uh, both sides, Ryan Garcia and the Haney's, are not um, are not um, the examples of what they profess their faiths to be. Is there some validity to that? And he he said that well, yeah, it's coming from. Um, 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 he said it's coming from tank fans and stuff like that. But but that's a legitimate question. That's why I asked him that. All right, and then lastly, uh, I don't think Ryan can beat Devin if they're both at their best. Uh, Devin wins. Uh, Ryan's chance, uh, you know, it's going to be, a, I think, a far more competitive fight, of course, than Regis. But Regis wasn't competitive at all. Uh, and you know. I, I think uh, Devin's going to win the fight. All things being equal, Ryan's biggest chance is to try to try to stop Devin. If he can't stop him, he'll he'll get outboxed and 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 likely go the distance. I don't know; it could go so many different ways if Ryan doesn't quit. Because honestly, I thought I'm one I'm one of the ones that think he quit in the tank fight. All right. Well, shout out to Jared for being more well, anyway, fam. Thanks, coach. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Um, now, it, there was a question I asked that was very, very powerful. Is it drug testing in this fight? And if there's drug testing, we don't know what Vada's going to test for. That's why I say I don't, De 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 I mean, Ryan Garcia has to be, and Mimi, Mimi 24 said this, and she might be right. Because I'm like, okay, Oscar De La Hoya saying this guy's going to make $30 million. Like, okay, if, if Devin Hay, if, if Ryan Garcia is going to make $30 million, I don't know exactly what, 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 um, uh, uh, Ryan, I mean, Devin is going to make, but you know, if they're going to make that, that type of money and they're doing VADA testing. So, um, Carla, hold on. And there's no telling what VADA is testing for. We don't know what they're testing for. So let's say they're testing for any and everything that can give you an advantage or whatever, marijuana or whatever. Right. Um, he, I don't foresee him risking that. It, it's a possibility that he just could be putting on the act. Maybe he's having a nervous break. I, I don't know, but you, you, you get what I'm saying? The drug thing is we don't know what's in the contract and we don't know what VAR is testing for. Those are the two things I'm looking at. Um, Carla, what's your name? What are you calling from? What's up, Coach? This is Jay Rock from D.C. Jay Rock from D.C. Talk to me. Man, I'm going to stay on topic for the uh, first part, but, man, this fight, I, I think it's not too far the round for, um, for Haney to get a TKO. Uh, like K KO, I don't know about, but TKO, I could see it happening. Um, like just Ryan's feet just bother me. Like his last five fights, it was what Luke Campbell. So he got touched up in there when he got dropped, mm -hmm. and Luke couldn't finish it. He couldn't. Now, granted, he got up and he he put Luke down with a body shot, but I feel like Luke could have pressed the gas and finished him in that fight if he wanted to, but he didn't know how to do it. Tago, he chased him around the ring, didn't know how to cut it off. Fortuna was like a, a good win, but he was, you know, he was just coming back. He a little older, so he couldn't run a young young cat. He hit him with some shots. And then you had Tank. We see how that went. And Durante, uh, Oscar Durante. And I ain't, the way he was curling up in that Philly shell, that fake Philly shell, man, if he do that with Haney, Haney going to be able to, to work around him and I, if he curl up like that, man, he I could see a TKO coming from Haney. Like I don't, I don't think that's too far outside of, of what can happen in that fight. But right, I, got you. I, I think it's gonna be a good fight, though. Um, I think, yeah, I think Ryan gonna offer some problems to him for sure, though. All right, shout but out to Jay Rock from DC, man. All right, coach. All right, salute, fam. Um, Jerry from Baltimore came up with a valid point, and I talk about this all the time. The double standards. It's like he make a valid point. You can say I never lose to a white boy, but if a white guy say I never lose to a black dude, someone like a Dante's Boxing Nation or anyone from the LDBC will automatically say it's racial and it's racist, right? It's I call it the racial double standards. You can say you know you can I can say something, but then if you say something back. I'm going to have fake outrage and I'm going to act all out of character. Do you get what I'm saying? So this is the stuff that I talk about a lot. Just the double standards, you know, the hypocrisies. You guys feel like you can say whatever the fuck you want, but then when the whirlwind of that comes back, then everybody want to act like, you know, they want to, you know, they want to burn down the city. You know, you, you get what I'm saying? So 
um, that's that's what I was asking the question about. It seemed like they, these guys was getting a little bit racial. I didn't hear it because I didn't hear that part. But then somebody was in the chat like, oh, yeah, he said somebody Bill had nappy hair and all that stuff there. Well, Bill opened up the door with the stuff he said. Right. See, once you open up a door, you know, you don't dictate somebody's clap back. Now, I did see one of the content creators, Dante, come out with a video and he immediately spoke about that, which I told you guys that's what they were going to do. You know, talking about the race aspect. Aha, uh -huh, he said this and talk about his nappy hair and all of that stuff there. I get it. I understand. You know, these guys still have to pander to their fan base in order to get their, you know, AdSense, revenue, super chats and all that stuff there. I get it. But my thing is, is, and this is why I asked the other question about, you know, fans, just regardless of who they are, fans say, hey, listen, both of these guys, Ryan Garcia as well as Devin Haney, they, 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 they always throw their religion out there. And the only reason people bring it up is because, hey, you openly come out and say this. So when you openly come out and say, alhamdulillah, all praise due to Allah, I'm a Muslim, this and that, people, how you judge whether a person is who they is is you look up the conduct of that individual. I was always talk about, I was always taught to look at the conduct of the individual who is professing he or she is something. And whatever the agreed upon the conduct is that you say that you are confessing, if what you do doesn't line up with the conduct of that of a Muslim or the conduct of that of a Christian or the conduct of that of a pimp, a player, a pusher, a hustler, or whatever the case may be, people are going to see that and notice that. So that's why I asked that question. Let's give everybody a round of applause. <laughs> Shout out to everyone who gave a cash app. Let me go ahead and do that. Um, look at the cash appers. Uh, something's wrong with cash app right now. So let me just go over here. Um, Shout out to Kermit. Hey, okay. Uh, shout out to Petey Russell. Hey, okay. Uh, shout out to Paul. Hey, okay. And uh, shout out to uh, TCL's ATL. Hey, okay. Let's get a round of applause, cash out. <laughs> and let's go to the super chatters. Shout out to Mother King Boston. Hey, okay. Shout out to Big Ben. Hey, okay. Shout out to Stephen X. Hey, okay. Malcolm Ford Jr. Hey, okay. The Martin. Hey. Gregory Williams, salute fam. Aye, okay. Shout out to Keith Bulldogs. Aye, okay. Sabrina Lee. Aye, okay. Shout out to AP. Aye, okay. Jason Gathers. Aye, okay. Boxing Police. Aye, okay. CJ. Aye, okay. Tyrone Winston. Aye, okay. And shout out to James Bash. Aye, okay. Let's give everybody a round of applause. Super, super talented. Did you, did you get what I'm saying? I mean, like, that's how I see it. And listen, we got a lot of people who called the show a lot. I swear to God, it was a lot, bro. We got about 30 people. Uh, shout out to, I'm, I'm not going to give everybody the sound bite, but shout out to Rob from LA. Shout out to Martin from Oakland. Curtis from Long Beach. Rob from New York. D Block from Dallas. Coach Eddie. Ron Boy Fresh. Jamie. Shout out to Casino Light Press, ATL. JB from Charlotte. Leo from Houston. Mitchell from Chicago. Um, Juan from ATL, Quan from ATL, James from Dallas, James Lee from B-More, Mike from Philly, T-Skills from Jersey, shout out to um, Kyrie from Philly, shout out to the dude from the Bay Area, I didn't get your name, Jared from Tampa, Martin from Jersey, Kurt from B-More, uh, David from Memphis, G5 from the Bronx, Creed Boston from Louisiana, Sheila from Cali, Trillion Dollar Dreams from Detroit, Jared from B-More, and J-Rock from D.C. Let's give them a round of applause. A lot of calls, a lot of calls, a lot of calls. And shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to Keith Bulldogs. Hey, okay. L. Harvey. Hey, okay. Shout out to all of the tender owners. I don't remember who's all here. Shout out to Mimi24, Sheila, and Ke Sheila from Cali, Summer in November. I don't remember everybody. Um, I just don't, man. Uh, uh, shout out to School O X Man, Corey Bradley, Pauline, uh, Stephen X, Mimi24, Boston Conversation with Reggie Owens. Uh, who else we have? Uh, Jason Follow of Christ. G5, uh, Keith Bulldogs. Yeah, if you don't, you got to drop your name at the bottom, man. If you don't drop your name at the bottom, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna remember you. It's just too many people to remember. Shout out to uh, Bay Area Business. Hey, okay. Um, yeah, I'm seeing some of the same names. Um, before we go, we got to say all praises due to the most high, the most exalted, the greatest human being on the planet Earth, Mr. Al Heyman. Well, you know, I guess I got to be like everybody else and say Al Heyman. <laughs> I can quit my job now, baby. Six figures, baby. You feel me? I'm about to 
but, but a name, a name. Do you have a name? Oh, nah, nah, I ain't got no name, you know? Name them names, man. <laughs> they know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. The <laughs> names need to be named. <laughs> they know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. Now that I hear you say, Coach, you call it Serrano? Um, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. You know, weekends is the time I catch up on a lot of stuff, so I don't know yet. Shout out to Jason Paulo Christ. Hey, okay. Shout out to Miller Hendricks. Hey, okay. Shout out to the Nigerian Mike Nightmare. Hey, okay. Mata King Boxing. Hey, okay. Our new country. Hey, okay. Ustino Gonzalez. Hey, okay. Drew Hines. Shout out to Tila. Shout out to our Sequoia. Hey, okay. He said, Coach, go eat. Hey, okay. Yeah, I plan on it. I plan on it. Um, if you sitting there watching the show, hate watching, don't want to hit the like button, Riley, get it. Look, fuck you, fuck the plane you flew in on, fuck them shoes, fuck the socks with the bell on it, fuck them cheap ass cigars, fuck your yuck mouth teeth, fuck your hair piece, fuck your chocolate, fuck Guy Ritchie, fuck Prince William, fuck the queen. This is America. My president is black and my Lambo is blue, nigga. Now get the fuck out my hotel room. And if I see you in the street, I'm slapping the shit out of you. It is what it is, man. Y'all know how we pull up. Hey, hey, who was you, pimp? Hey, what the hey, fuck? What, what the Get your fuck motherfucker. Hey, hey, that nigga squeezing me. Hey, Get player. that freak hey, ass nigga. You ain't hear my bro. nigga say what back the, the fuck, fuck up, dude. Bro. You know what I mean? So, um, I really hope this fight is 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 does really really good. I think um, I think that's I think the, my my conclusion is this. I think the sparring video helps tr create a lot of intrigue. Believe it or not, um, Floyd Mayweather leaked this video. In my opinion, I don't agree with Bill Haney. And uh, that's all right to do so. He said that he released a video in order to help Ryan Garcia. That doesn't make sense to me. If you gave it to him, he could just look at the footage and see what it see what it is that he can do, and that can help him like that. Releasing it publicly, uh, he did that to help him. So did he do it to help him sell the pay per view? And Bill said no, he didn't do it to help him sell the pay per view to give him the confidence. That don't make any sense to me. So we just gonna agree to disagree on that. I think it was used to embarrass Devin Haney, and it backfired. That's what I think. You get what I'm saying? We the Charlotte Twins. We known for calling everybody out. Please call these I'm people out. Listen, the whole world's looking at you. Call these people out. What's please. up? It's the Jamal the Hitman Charlotte. Let's get it. Who want it? <laughs> Name them names, man. They know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. The <laughs> names need to be named. They know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. Mexican monster. Not that much I mean, that, I mean, that's how I feel about it, you know? I want to thank the whole hood who came out here. I love y'all. I did this for the hood. Y'all know I beat that boy. I mean, it is what it is. You know, every time I think about Florida, this is what I think about. But when you when, when you are put in a, a certain position, he should be go. I mean, he's able to, like like me. And you know, when I was in a position, I can pick and choose who I want to, cause I, I I earned that right. Believe it or not, bro, in 2024, we still have diehard flow modes. I feel like God, I respect it. You second to God, champ. Come on, put him in the pass out. Take the picture before you pass out. Yeah, get him before you pass out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you up. Yo, yo, we gotta take this guy everywhere. Yo, champ. He needs air. He needs air. Take the picture. Hey, listen, listen, it's some niggas online right now. They feel that way about Floyd, Tank, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, some grown men right now. Tank fans, Ryan Garcia fans, Devin Haney fans, Floyd Mayweather fans. Boy, it's some dudes right now, and they're they going to be threatening you about they fighter, saying they got shooting them the same dudes that's going to be crying. After my God, after my God, I respect it. them the same dudes, I'm telling you. This is what's going on online on Dog on YouTube. And, um, yeah, matter of fact, YouTube. On Twitter, just social media in general, bro. This what's going on online with these dudes. 
I'm telling you, fam. And bro, like, it's real ugly. These guys ain't got no shame at all. Nigga, when my name come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. I'll drill y'all. Stop playing with my name. I ain't gonna say it no more. Put some respect on my name. Some niggas be celebrating when they see they fight. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Oh, that look good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. Yeah, can't forget about them Canelo fans. You got some Canelo man fans. Lord have mercy, boy. Woo! It, it, it's, you know, it is what it is. Now, I am the number one content. I'm tired of James the Poodle, Grim Reaper, whatever you want to call himself, ducking me. All right, I'm tired of man driving around town in eight Rolls Royces. He ain't fought nobody. I'm still in a bro hand. It is what it is. You wish you could work it the way I do, but you can't. You're begging me not to leave. And I refuse to let you go. And shout out to Doggo G5. Hey, okay. Shout out to La Jessica. Hey, okay. Wanda King Boxing. Hey, okay. Legacy Mindset. Hey, hey, okay. Jason Follow of Christ. Hey, okay. Sequoia. Hey, okay. Jamie from New York. Hey, okay. Shout out to um, Tony. Hey, okay. Keith Bulldogs. Hey, okay. Jason Phillips. Hey, okay. Um, it is what it is, man. Some of these niggas got goose grease, but the day is Tenderoni Fridays. You know, I love Tenderoni Fridays. It is what it is. Shout out to the Tenderonis, the PYTs, and the Honey Dip. Shout out to Jackie Hernandez, Food Revolution, um, just uh, Summer in November, Ebony 76, just any other women that I have forgot. If you don't leave your name down at the bottom, I'm, I'm going to, you know, I don't have my list anymore. So it is what it is. But just shout out to the Tenderonis. If you're a Tenderoni, PYT, and the Honey Dip, you know who it is. Let's get it. Yeah, man, it is what it is, man. Hey, man, I'll see you guys later, man. I'll see you guys later on, man. We gonna Y'all see you on the next one. Um, Y'all y'all will see me tomorrow. Got some more videos and stuff dropping. You will see me tomorrow. So y'all be on the lookout. Turn on, turn, on, turn on the notifications. Sign up to the newsletter. And also, I have some new merch dropping as well. Be on the lookout for that. i see you guys on the next one. You know my motto. Don't meet me there. Beat me there. Peace. Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go. Come on.